scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. It will be a total waste of time. Just a lecture, a theological dissertation. If at the end of this time, somebody cannot turn and look at what used to make you run and turn back and say, I'm not running again something has been given in my hand one more prayer and then you sit down i cause fear the fear that stops me from rising i decree and declare that tonight i will face my fears lift your voice and pray i will face it no more running away no more running away grace is supplied tonight i will face my fears and challenge it until i defeat it the Bible says, and to deliver them who through the fear of death have all their lifetime been subject to bondage. Fear keeps you in bondage. Fear of failure. Fear of death. Fear of weaknesses. Fear of limitations. Fear of the past. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please be seated if you can. I want your spirit to be very sensitive tonight. When I was praying for this meeting, all that I saw was this handing of scepters. That's why you heard me talking about it. That there are three things that make a king. Any animal can claim to be the king of the jungle. But the jungle itself knows who the king is. An elephant, because of his size, can think he's the king of the jungle. A giraffe can think he's the king of the jungle. But when the lion roars, hear me, when the lion roars, we were furnished after the order of the lion. I came angry tonight in my spirit. There is a time to laugh and joke, but there is a time to take your destiny and say, no way, that door must open. Hallelujah. Hear me, nothing works by itself. You have to learn this nothing works by itself there are doors in our lives and destinies that we must force them to open otherwise they will never open hallelujah we've been looking at the dominion mandate tonight is the last part of the series part three part one we looked at the original plan god's original agenda his his plans can change, but his purposes are eternal. His purposes mean his intentions. His plan means the methodology, his approach. His approach alters because he needs man to work with him. And many times man will not cooperate adequately. So he will have to invent another strategy, but his purposes are eternal. And then last week we looked at discipleship. The second dimension of dominion, training for reigning. The spiritual system allocated to the saints that helps them, that equips them. I told us that man was created in the image and the likeness of God. The image of man talks about the spiritual quality of God deposited in man. The capacity to be supernatural, the capacity to be divine. The capacity to interact with both realms that you are both spiritual as much as natural 
hallelujah and then we shared a few things how that the bible says that it is they who have received the gift of righteousness and the abundance of grace they are the ones who are authorized to reign in life we looked at discipleship as the spiritual system that initiates men to understand the principles of god are we together now that the image of christ and his likeness his likeness talks about his functionality and i spoke to us about the god of systems how that the order of god's progression is that he creates a template a model of a thing and then designs systems around it for continuity god's pattern for continuity is to design systems around things and it is still true today there is nothing that continues when you do not design a system around it god created man once woman once and never had to do it again and there are 7.2 billion people who are alive aside from those who have died because he planted a system are we together now he watered the garden and put plants once and he deposited a system in the plants for continuity so we must be trained i made a statement that promise reiterated in this kingdom who trains you and how you are trained can make the difference in your manifesting dominion it matters that you are trained and it matters who trains you and how you are trained because many of us have been victims of zeal that has been abused as a result of ignorance or lack of training so we largely guess our way so part one was the original plan part two is the system of equipping discipleship we call it and part three is governance we are looking at governance tonight how kings reign that's what we are going to be discussing tonight there is a way kings reign the system of governance our dominion is delegated our dominion is not absolute dominion you have to take note of this absolute dominion means you are sovereign in your decisions unsupervised man was not given absolute dominion he was given delegated dominion we call it theologically speaking shared dominion that mystery is what was shown in the sun and the moon the moon also gives light but the moon's light is shared it does not have illumination of itself so the price of the moon is to align to the sun and then it reflects back to the earth the light of the sun so our dominion is shared dominion our dominion is delegated dominion are we together authority comes from the greek word exousia the capacity to stand in the office of a man not necessarily in his absence but he steps out and allows you or he builds a branch of his influence and puts you in charge that's dominion the pastor for instance of let's say redeemed zaria is the head of that parish but that authority is delegated are we together because there is still a headquarters and he receives order but as far as that jurisdiction the jurisdiction of zaria is concerned every activity that happens within that jurisdiction is left to that person everybody say governance governance talks about execution governance talks about legislature creating or enforcing laws hallelujah most christians never ever walk in dominion David, don't be ready to sing this song for me. He's playing. Very powerful song. Are we together? That there is a system with which the saints reign. I hope you know that in the Garden of Eden, there were no apostles. There were no prophets. There were no teachers. There were no churches. There were no, um, what do we call it? Conferences. I told us in part one how that redemption was a restoration process. 
to restore us back but for many believers who are walking on the earth like fugitives like vagabonds hoping that the trumpet will announce our rest let me tell you something it is a very unfruitful way of living the scope of christianity for an average believer is being in christ and walking in a lifetime of doubt and fear wondering whether you will make heaven or not and trusting the sound of a trumpet to prove if you disappear then you are glad you made it a victorious god would not design such a poor system even men with our limited understanding we have designed intelligent systems god cannot design such a foolish system and keep a man 80 years on earth and the only reason why that man was on earth was to born to be born hand his life to christ and wait until the day he goes to heaven heaven is real heaven is true but let me tell you something god's ultimate goal is not just to go to heaven we are returning god's ultimate goal is to be able to satisfy the fullness of his eternal counsel are we together and this will happen when we fulfill the dominion mandate the mandate to take control to take charge of earth god is always interested in earth notice that everything that has happened in the bible even every time heaven was mentioned it was with respect to earth there's something god wants to be fulfilled here and we are the ones mandated to make it happen governance the bible says the heavens even the heaven of heavens is an ancient word that qualifies like you say daughter of daughters son of sons the heaven of heavens listen belongs to god but he says the earth still part of his kingdom but he has allocated to the sons of men in other words listen carefully brothers and sisters the chaos that is happening in the earth is not the will of god the sicknesses the poverty are we together now the the ugly manifestation of darkness the failures that come to the life of people the spiritual bankruptcy within the nations is a proof that the saints have largely not come into the fullness of god's expectation as far as kingdom governance is concerned now in the earth when we vote a governor or a counselor or whatever kind of political leader we look forward to seeing changes within that that socioeconomic system when we see roads being built hospitals rehabilitated schools rehabilitated we now turn back to the person and we say you have done a good job and then we do our best to make sure we give him another tenure but in a situation where under the watch of that person several things go bad we turn back to the person and say you are this is poor legislature this is poor execution it's a sign that you are not serious and you are not qualified for that office that's why i said god is rehanding over scepters to men many of us do not understand what this means dominion has evidences the order and the dexterity that is around your life is a sign that you are alive the bible says something very interesting when you read um psalm 8 and then you go to hebrew chapter 2 um don't turn there i will give us the verses later on but he was speaking about paul was making reference to the psalm of david and he says what is man that thou art mindful of not the son of man that thou visitest him he says you have made him a little lower than elohim crowned him with glory and you know power and you have set him over the works of your hands now listen and he says in doing so you did not leave anything there was absolutely nothing that includes hiv listen carefully that includes other sicknesses that have not yet been fabricated by the gate of hell that are still coming i hope you know that there are still plagues coming plagues that will make hiv look like malaria hell enlarging itself raising an assault against the saints but jesus said i will build my church and i will build it in such a way that it will be so formidable the gates of hell shall not prevail governance 
so i'm going to be teaching us how kings reign and god's system of governance will be very fast because i want us to pray we trust god for a supply of great grace tonight in the name of jesus genesis chapter one the book of the beginnings are you ready david sing that song for us while we powerful song for those of you coming here for the first time this is koinonia a habitation that is absolutely conducive for the holy spirit and this is one of the reasons because we allow him to minister and edify the people Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 now I want to show you the system of shared dominion we see it here are we together and God said read the next two words one to go let us I'll tell you what else to read make man in our own image after our likeness and then the next two words so we see let us let them let us let them there is a dimension of access we need there is a dimension of access they need so it is partnership are we together now kings reign in this kingdom through shared dominion let us there is a dimension of sovereignty that is exclusive to the office of the Godhead. Let us. There is a portion of governance that is allocated and restricted to God's sovereign power and wisdom. The saints can never tap into that dimension. Any act and any desire to want to tap into that dimension will be the same thing that Lucifer did. 
let us that's the first revelation i want you to have tonight that there is a jurisdiction of kingdom governance that is exclusively exclusively manifested by the godhead the saints have not been apportioned that dimension so you need to understand that there is a restriction to our dominion and we must understand the jurisdiction of governance that's why it is delegated let us when it has to do with making man listen carefully no man can make man it takes god to make men let us when it comes to governance and executing that mandate man can do it but let us man cannot make man so let us make man who makes men in this kingdom talk to me please the word make man there does just, just mean create man it means to cause an effect in man god can make men successful god can make men victorious the making of men is exclusively the office of god paul may plant listen i'm teaching you how kings reign paul may plant apollos may water but the making of joshua selman is only in the office of christ this is good news for you because the person who said you will never make it is a joke find out whose office is responsible for making men let us make men man can try to clone men but he cannot put the image of god in men let us please keep it there make men let us create a kingdom of kings let us use the infinite potential that is resident within us that even the angels have searched for ages in wonder let us use that multifaceted dimension of our wisdom to make this entity and let us make it in such a way that he will be in our image and after our likeness and then when we make him in our image and our likeness our job ends now let them who have been made in our image and our likeness have dominion let us transfer governance to them and allocate a jurisdiction your jurisdiction of governance starts from the second heavens the saints cannot govern in the first heaven heaven is controlled exclusively by the godhead read your bible nobody in the first heaven the heaven of heaven where god dwells has any authority or any power to give any kind of legislature christ himself is the light of that city if at any time you are given any instructions or authorizing anything in the heaven of heavens you are a rebel the jurisdiction of governance for the saints start in the second heavens that's where demon spirits start because they know that this is where our jurisdiction starts so they move around in the heavenlies but not just the heavenlies where god is so the archangels and all of them only obey instructions they don't invent instructions what rules heaven is not ideas is instructions why on earth we are allowed to manifest creativity in heaven there is creativity but it's not a derivative of the individual no 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 the creativity is exclusively god's will and then whatever you are allocated you obey it as an instruction let them let us make them then they have dominion over the fish of the sea now you may think that he's just mentioning water air he's mentioning jurisdictions these are territories with spiritual implications the first he says the fish of the sea usually he will use a creature that resides within that habitat and uses it as a template that means that man should have dominion over the sea that means no manipulation that has to do with water as an element of the supernatural should have expression is a mandate let him have dominion it's not about fish it's about the sea because you see the sea is not just a place of fish the sea is where the mystery of abundance comes abundance is tied to the sea let them have 
dominion. Mm. Read for me verse 20 and 21. 20 and 21, please. Let me show you something about water. Read. Are you a Christian? We are reading 20 and 21. Ready? And God said, Stop. Where did the creatures come out from? Read your Bible. Where did they come out of? Are you seeing that now? Let the waters bring forth abundance the moving creature that had life and the fowl that may what so the birds came out of where hey. <laughs> that may fly above the earth in an open firmament of heaven in case you thought it was just a mistake of translation let's read 21 one to go uh-huh which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind and every wing fowl after listen this is the reason why every shrine every native doctor evil is always associated with water when jesus was going to the other side the sea started getting boisterous jesus understood the dynamics they thought it was just a storm jesus smiled and said be still be still as soon as he went over a madman was waiting there full of demons and said jesus you have come abundance i give you dominion dominion over the sea and the mysteries that are hidden there let's go back to 26 and then the fowl of the air the air is a territory is a habitat that requires an execution of dominion it was solomon in his wisdom that said when men speak there are invisible birds that carry their words is it in your bible <laughs> i want a child and that word is transported to a region where it should not be and you sleep in the night and a stranger comes because someone invited him and comes to sleep with you and all of a sudden the pregnancy is lost the power the air is so important satan said demons you can rule anywhere but me i want to many of you think satan is down this air is where mysteries happen whoever takes control of the spiritual climate the air the physical atmosphere you will be so blessed tonight i want to open your eyes to certain things there is a way kings reign it's not just by speaking i will never be this calm down just let's take it easy and you will understand that most of what we are doing is called vain babbling we talk and think that because we are mentioning right words uh -uh. and over what is the third territory the earth the earth this ground you see is a deep ancient mystery everybody listen carefully this earth you see is not just sand what kind of entity is it that you can dig a hole throw corn close it back no battery no electricity it starts coming with roots tied to it and you no longer can remove the tree again when humans die we don't leave them in the sky we plant them in the earth the tallest building in the world has a point of contact with the earth every human being alive the earth is a universal point of contact every human being makes contact with this earth and he gave us dominion and then over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth and the bible says let them have dominion that means listen genesis 126 is not an is not a suggestion 
is not an advice it's not one of those communications in scripture where the bible say i said before you this and that it was a decree a divine decree by the godhead he said these men we have made let them have dominion in other words we transfer the governance of this territory from the day god said let them have dominion he relinquished direct control over the earth and the heavenlies he restricted himself to the first heavens listen this is the mystery behind god needing men so helplessly that you see sometimes god will look like he's he's frustrated because he cannot find a man and sometimes we are tempted to ask god are you not mighty are you not so mighty can't you just come in and do whatever you have to do and he says no i passed a decree if it was a suggestion it would have been changed when kings pass decrees they don't bend to it it is stamped it is sealed let them have dominion over territories let them have dominion i have allocated spheres of influence and according to revelation chapter 5 verse 10 as we have read in previous series um, um, parts of the series how that we have been made unto our god a kingdom of priests and we have been mandated to reign to reign to reign i want you to get that word dominion is not bragging dominion is legislature dominion is governance dominion is managing the earth on behalf of heaven forcing the earth to reflect the glory the character the power the possibilities of god and part of the system of management includes some of the things that i'm going to be showing you are you ready let me show you how to have dominion 1 verse 28 and god blessed them and said unto them these are the facets that are contained in dominion number one be fruitful be fruitful there is no dominion without fruitfulness number two multiply that means god's idea is not just that you rule alone to multiply means that your seed your seed your seed must also partake in governance not just your physical seed your seed is anything that comes out of you your ideas are we together where you subdue territories because you have been able to multiply replenish the system of restoration that when things deplete in everyone who loves god and is powerful and understands the dominion mandate there is no such thing as a dry season forever because fabricated and put in man is the ability to replenish replenish meaning that you are you are mandated to turn any desert situation physically and spiritually replenish and then subdue subdue confront the limiting factors confront the resistances and prevail over them that's how you have dominion upon every other thing now this looks very simple until i begin to share with you the things that god has put in my heart tonight anybody who does not execute this fourfold mandate any institution that does not execute this fourfold mandate will never never move forward are we together yes. there must be a system of continuity replenishing replenishing that's why when satan wants to corrupt this mandate from a family he starts killing all the men in that family he's trying to sabotage the capacity to replenish so that gradually they, he will wipe away from the face of the earth that family and what they represent both spiritually and physically the inability to be productive is a cause many people do not understand that the inability to be fruitful the inability to multiply yourself your results your potentials is limited he made a garden 
in the east of Eden. An authorized man that through a system, that man will extend that garden all over the earth. God never created the whole earth and made it like the, the whole earth was not the garden of Eden. The garden of Eden was a portion and man was kept there to see and acclimatize himself with that environment and be able to tap the resources from Eden and now use them to reproduce earth. Governance entails a number of things. We must understand how kings reign in this kingdom because for many of us, our concept of governance is usurping authority over men. Are we together? When we say you are in governance, even from a kingdom dimension, many people's idea is that I have two or three people that answer yes sir to me. And once they see that, they say, wow, I am in governance. And then I ill treat them in the public to show that I have some kind of superior advantage. That is not dominion. That is oppression. Oppression. Everywhere this template of oppression was told, there was rebellion somewhere, sometime. Read it all through scripture. Pharaoh oppressed the people of God for a long time. One day they were tired. God too was tired. He joined them and together they sank into the Red Sea and their lives, that kingdom, that dynasty just went places. You do not oppress men. Oppression is not dominion. Let me talk about oppression before I talk about this. Do you know what oppression is? Oppression is a system of stopping other people from manifesting dominion also. It's a dangerous state. It's an antichrist spirit oppression including pastors including prophets apostles most people what we call dominion is oppression refusing resources from reaching people to keep them poor is a strategy by the enemy for oppression that's not dominion hiding potentials from people for their minds to be oriented so that they can also be empowered so that you keep them as slaves history is full of wicked kings dictators monarchs and individuals who refuse to supply information that empower people when you rob people of truth in order to keep them loyal it's not dominion it's oppression and we still do it in the modern day today we still do it in churches with all due respect there are men of God whose idea of fatherhood, whose idea of mentorship is oppression, is witchcraft. We take away the liberty of people. I don't mean accountability. We literally create a theology that makes us own people. We own their lives. We own their time. Are you ready for oppression number two? Unemployment forever. Is oppression <clears throat> did you hear what I said unemployment forever for the purpose of salary is a system of oppression I carry your presence everywhere who am I your mind is so full of me according to scripture read your bible employment employment as we know started with jacob and laban is that true god would work with people and allow you to serve under a system to learn and to be built but a time must come you don't need to have a new platform but you no longer receive salary you become a partaker of the blessings of that system this is god's system are we together but it was laban that brought this wicked antichrist strategy of being a servant and an employee forever don't i'm not saying you should hate your boss i'm just telling you where this thing came from because jacob came in with the blessing and he began to make laban prosper and laban noticed that this man had something that made him prosper then laban went and used divination spells powers 
and he found out that there was something on jacob and he said i will leave this guy i will keep tipping him enough to remain with me then one day jacob asked a question and said i have served you when will i now go and have my own house when will i build my own life and laban said don't ever bring that statement again does that sound like employment i will keep you here and then later he said okay i need a wife and this guy look at how wicked he was when he knew that he was going to get his wife this man suffered for seven good years when it was time to have his wife what happened they changed them is that true and then kept him again look how jacob suffered like a fool he was the one who was doing the work but who was the credit going to listen any system in the world that keeps people as employers forever regardless of their productivity is a cost system i know many people will insult me for what i'm saying that's the reason why people finish working after 40 years and live miserable lives god is a god that starts by helping men serve others and build but eventually they must become partakers of the blessings and the benefits the people, the tribe that does this well are evil people today. You see it? They are using that kingdom system. That's why there is continuity. So they bring in a young boy and he serves for a while. Is that true? And then eventually they now start telling him, okay, we leave you in the shop. And then one day there's what we call settling. Am I right, evil people? And that settling, you don't just say, okay, go back to your father's house. No. You are able to bring up something that is strong enough to bless that then him too he will now stand on his own the mandate multiply multiply that's why the jews are exceptional people today notice some of the best firms in the world that's what they do the moment you are, you are working and you get to a level they stop paying you salary your salary becomes in percentage that means they give you an identity within that corporation you don't necessarily need to have your own corporation are you seeing a corruption of the dominion mandate that's why there are people who never become anything in life because they subscribe to an innocent system that keeps allocating tips to just keep them there and for as long as they are there forever you serve somebody for 40 years and live with a bye-bye that's a cost system you don't like what you're hearing Huh. you better like it too because this is what is responsible for the decadence in the lives of people in the name of spiritual fatherhood i believe in fatherhood i believe in mentorship but there are people today who own the atms of people there are pastors who own the atms of people there are pastors who own they can tell anybody bring me your car bring me your this oh no come on please oppression is not dominion never confuse oppressing people to oppress people means to take away their right of liberty forcefully to take away their right of even um in in ancient times there was a season called jubilee jubilee after every seven year there was a sabbath and then after 49 years seven sets of sabbaths the 50th year was declared a year of jubilee and at that year you will release every slave not just release them to go but empower them no matter what happened to them but you can empower them and they can say you have been a good master for me i don't want to go in that case you will pierce their ears as a sign that they are no longer they are not just servants out of um, um oppression are we together they have become servants willfully born servants there is a lot of oppression in our world and that's why the dominion mandate has suffered even among believers we pride ourselves in oppression 
so i just needed to balance that straight away so that many of us do not fabricate the idea of oppression to feel i need to go back to my house dominion mandate my wife has not been listening to me now that i'm going back she will know that i have dominion where are you from today you cook what i eat that's 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 not it there are several people from several nations listening and it's, it, it will be costly to assume we need to define the concepts here that we are stating so that people do not oppress people a man does not go and start beating his child and killing his child and say i am your father you must listen to me oppression everywhere from the bible and through history where there was oppression there was a rebellion and a revolt eventually how do kings reign how do we execute this dominion mandate when it comes to execution and legislature what are the systems what are the dimensions of dominion number one how do we dominate in this kingdom the ministry of prayer number one i want to show you how kings legislate how we dominate the ministry of prayer philippians chapter 4 please 6 and 7 you will not suffer my food to be I carry your presence everywhere who am I your mind is so full of me Portal man, awesome God. Portal man, awesome God. be careful for nothing the word careful there is not just um, uh, to not play caution that's not what he's saying are we together it, it, it describes um the the resistance that comes as a result of fear of uncertainty and it says be careful for nothing but in everything by what prayer and supplication let your request the authorized system of presenting your request to the headquarters is prayer not complaining not grumbling grumbling does not call the attention of heaven please listen i know some of us you know we are humans and sometimes we can be confronted by challenges and then we just think by shouting oh god what is this now are you not watching how god am i not your child that is emotional that is human that is consoling but you have not made your request made it says by prayer and supplication then with thanksgiving this is the system the same way when you have a company if pastor alpha has a company now and say i'm his secretary he will have to teach me how to present requests to his table are we together there are others you need to write and sign we need five bags of this ten bags of this we need to go on a trip this is the cost and then you put everything and submit it in the ministry here in koinonia there is a system where requests get to my table you don't just walk and say i think i need water no there is a system are we together now the leaders have been trained to understand the system where you pass your request whether as a department whatever it is and the finance department has been trained to respond to those needs only when the system is well complied with so what makes you believe that heaven is haphazard oh god just hear me there is a system are you hearing what i'm saying now that every time you need help you don't wish it you don't grumble about it you don't just say pray for me oh prayer band you are going on tuesday abby please when you go tell my sister that i couldn't make it just pray for me let me tell you i'm not against intercession but i'm against laziness spiritually and any other dimension he says by prayer by what prayer is a system of dominion on the earth men who do not pray cannot legislate the authorized system to present your request to heaven is prayer and supplication backed up by thanksgiving as a sign of faith that you did not pray to an animal you pray to an intelligent god seated in the heavens let me tell you something if you don't end your prayer a quality prayer giving thanks 
you missed out a major portion it's like cooking and forgetting salt and forgetting maggi and say no problem just eat it like that there is a serious problem now you may say the quantity of salt is small but don't put it and see how it alters the taste believers do not pray we live in a time and age where pray for me is the most popular language among believers pray for me prayer department pray for me benga promise pray for me pastor alpha i'm not against uh, maybe a higher anointing helping you but we have lazy people there are all kinds of financial seeds now there is a battle seed you know what a battle seed is that means i don't have the time and the luxury to pray so what happens is that i encourage you with a seed and with that seed you will spend the night praying while i'm sleeping see let's not lie to ourselves here we are christians are we together the bible says let your request you are the one in that fire you are the one who wants to come out let your request no make it no through prayer the first system of legislature is prayer let's look at first timothy 2 long reading from verse 1 to 8 quickly please first timothy chapter 2 verse 1 to 8 and then i'll share a few things about prayer and um i may just give us three or four dimensions of the of dominion then we'll round off all right first timothy chapter 2 first timothy are we still there media first timothy chapter 2 from verse 1 we're reading down to 8 i exhort therefore this is paul now speaking to his son in the gospel timothy that first of all what supplications prayers intercession are you seeing now paul obeying that rule too and giving of thanks be made for what all men prayer is important intercession 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 is not just praying for souls intercession is agreeing with god on behalf of people that certain things still find expression on the earth because of the benefit of that thing even to you as a person read on verse 2 then he says to pray for what kings and for all that are in authority does it look like nigeria is doing this we are not doing it all we are not praying for kings we are not praying for those in authority we are complaining and we are angry we are saying all kinds of things bringing all kinds of political things i'm teaching you how kings dominate how many workers pray for their bosses there is a reason why god says to pray for your superiors he says and for kings and all that are in what any kind of authority why that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life that we including you the person praying there is an effect of their misgovernance on you and so for that sake you have to pray and say lord you I, I trust you to come in that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty if we do not intercede for leaders we don't intercede for nigeria and for africa you don't intercede for your boss let me tell you something listen it's a very serious secret i want to share with you every time you pray for your superior you have access to their heart no matter how godless they are practice this and watch wonders that happen every time you pray for your superiors God grants you access to their hearts. Oh, that stupid boss, stupid, stupid man. He removed 10,000 from my salary. God is hearing you. Now, you would think you will win because it's true that he removed that. There is something about authority that even God respects. He says, pray that we may lead a peaceable and quiet life in godliness and honesty. Verse 3. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior. Uh-huh. Who will have all men to be what be saved we need to pray and intercede do you know hold on do you know the decadence in society 
is because there are many people who are not saved are we together step into a village a community where there is a there is a spread of unbelievers there's only one church in that city only one pastor who is not even sure he's born again let me tell you hell will prevail over that city do you know why because there is no spiritual resistance nobody is saved children are in occult from three years four years five years you see them telling you stories that will make you not sleep you know why because god does not have envoys within those a, a territory it matters that god finds a people it is in the multitude of men that the king's honor lies when god does not have men in a city it affects the growth of that place there are cities in the world there are cities in nigeria where god has very little men and we know what happens to the cause of the kingdom within those territories there is darkness there is oppression and all kinds of things and then he says that god will have all men to what not only be saved comma but to come into the knowledge of the truth because there are people who are saved but ignorance can keep a society are you seeing how we dominate you step into a society and you see poor people everywhere the highest person has just one house with mud and you are looking and say lord there is there are levels of truth that we do not know the average family within that territory lasts only five years all the children are arm robbers by 10 the ladies marry by 12 not because they want to marry once she's 11 11 and a half she's pregnant are we together and all of a sudden you find out that there's disobedience stealing smoking drinking all kinds of decadence the bible says that god wants men to come into the knowledge of the truth an irresponsible man who cannot take care of his family and you are within that territory the bible says you can begin to dominate over that territory it's a lost art that we don't know in church again to pray over territories until we shift the climate in that territory and begin to cause things to happen read the world revival read revivals that have passed there were men who prayed non-stop for 100 years for certain things to happen some of us our mother started praying since we were born now you are 20 years you wanted to get into something that, that you didn't like that climate there was already a build up a spiritual fortification we do not pray over environments we do not pray over territories we do not intercede that god will step in and say lord invade zaria have you noticed the developments that have been happening in zaria in recent times there used to be old buildings everywhere because you see a city assumes the shape of the spirit that controls it yes the economy of a city the 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 level of civilization in that city is a reflection of the controlling powers is one of the ways you know that a city is under oppression there are many of us like that you enter your city you see red zings everywhere uncompleted buildings everywhere those traits are symbols they are signs they are tokens they are representations of controlling powers over cities and the bible says when we want to begin to liberate cities not give me tea not give me bread i'm teaching you the prophetic and intercessory dimension of prayer where you begin to travel until you shift away the spiritual climate of territories for many years and it's still happening in zaria men and women zaria zaria is like a woman that has been pregnated with the prayers of the saints zaria is full of the history of moves after moves of men and women who have prayed some of them did not even know what was leading them every night every day in zaria there is always something happening somebody is praying somewhere in your room at the back of one fence somewhere under a tree prayer doesn't matter the location and gradually you begin to see now there is peace that we can be happy i mean look at this covering a road a main road like this in a city like zaria and nobody comes to oppress you 
those of you who have stayed long in this city knows that you know that these things were not like that ah that people can shake their hands that's what happens when people legislate one of the chiefest way for dominion is prayers please i don't know how to make you believe this there's no such thing as i'm not called into that ministry if you are called to reign the first symbol of your legislature is the ability to pray not just for your needs but to be supplied the burden of a territory to pray until the purposes of god are located over that territory comes to pass do you know why prayer meetings have the lowest turnout in many churches it's an attack and sadly many pastors many and so people don't like to pray say lie with all humility i think one of the largest gatherings after koinonia in terms of the the prayers here in koinonia is the tuesday prayer meeting you see people rushing happy to pray you know why there is a spirit of prayer and supplication is more than desire you don't pray just using desire you may start with desire i've taught you consistency draws the spirit responsible to you every time you are doing a thing consistently because you have your own human will are we together you can take alcohol willingly it may not be by the influence of a spirit it doesn't mean you you are an alcoholic no but by the time you are taking gouda every day one week two weeks the spirit of drunkenness is drawn through your consistency that's how prayer is most people want to receive the impartation of prayer before they pray let me give you a big secret your consistency you are always going behind that fence every night one hour two hours you go back you carry your small rechargeable one hour two hours one day something will happen to you i guarantee you you will stand there and be praying and the heavens will open you will check your time and see that it's five o'clock events begin to launch in your life one day you go to pray and then you see somebody come to join you too you see this is how ministry starts i really feel I, and i don't say this in a condemning way i feel sorry for people who want to start ministry then they go and buy balloon they get a, a, a banner they get a, a posters they do offering bus offering bag they buy tray with water for the man of god and cheer and then they say come to our church no every church starts as a house of prayer those of you who god is calling into ministry let me tell you start calling people and say i'm starting a new church oh pastor femi you would like to come and visit maybe god is talking to you and you oppress people and say remember you are my classmate i mean i told you this thing right from 100 level so it's not new to you can you come and join me be the secretary you never start ministry that way every true ministry must register a track record in the spirit of a season of prolonged prayer non-stop i'm i'm telling you the foundation of a formidable ministry that is unshakable you must pray you must pray you must pray anything that attacks your prayer life is about to destroy your dominion did you hear what i said anything that attacks your prayer life i'm busy you know before i didn't have a job now i have a job and uh, i come back by nine o'clock if a thief holds a gun by one o'clock will you wake up or not if the thief says stand up stand up now otherwise i'm going to blow your head will you say thief let me tell you you came in the wrong day i came back from nine o'clock i mean i mean you two you know how nigerian jobs are they don't give us enough time can you come back in the morning you stand up why because there is you 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 already sense that thief has a gun holding it with one hand but there are spirits that fly around our territory and you snow your way until the scepter falls from your hand and you get up and talk and think that just because uh, you are confessing i changed this ah, it takes prayer let's not mock ourselves hallelujah this is the pride that has destroyed many people who begin to see the anointing in their lives they just feel what is it this thing that you can do i can do it just give me chance and see listen let me tell you when you see people executing effortlessly they have paid the price in the secret place believe me believe me oh god is touching somebody now and you see somebody falling under the anointing you come with your own zeal and pride and say look 
God is the God of all flesh. The, the curtain has been torn, uh, you know, left and right. There's no priest again, no mediator. And, and this is why many pastors mock themselves on stage. We come up and stand bragging, making our voices husky. And God is here right now. And uh, you're about to see what will happen here. And at the end, and you know, members are very dangerous people. They note everything you say. You said the power of God will move, so they're waiting. At the end of it, you try and say, you people did not fast. And then all these things. And you say, look, this guy, is it that you cannot play this keyboard? Because they think it's a charm. Clashing a cymbal and playing keyboard, they are, they, are, they are charms like a genie that you invoke and people fall. And usually they will find one light sister that can be shaking up and down. Say, you stand up. Why do we do this? Listen, power is real. Pay the price through prayer. pay the price through prayer write four things that prayer does in terms of dominion number one prayer is responsible for building your discernment your growth and giving you direction prayer do you know I have discovered that over 60%, I'll repeat what I just said, but listen, over 60% of the challenges that befall men on earth is the issue of direction. Direction. What to do, where to go. Lord, should I be in Zaria now or should I leave? Lord, is this house your will for me or not? If the issue of direction is sorted out, many people will not be where they are. Prayer gives you access to discernment discernment to be able to test and sense the spirits behind operations and to be able to know how much the hand of god is in a system and a process so that you don't waste your time you don't have all that time prayer is responsible for spiritual growth look at me i will not boast of knowing everything about the kingdom but i want you to present one believer for me who is not a serious person of prayer but has grown so spiritually it's a lie it's impossible to pray and neglect the word because when you pray you must write something the holy spirit speaks when we pray if you have not had god for a long time it may not just be that your ears are blocked it may be that you have not you have not forced whatever is blocking your ears to be open discernment can be developed when you pray god speaks i don't mean prayer for two minutes in, in anger and annoyance and sleeping and waking up prayer with your heart heartfelt prayer lord you spoke to me about ministry speak to me what is wrong with this family nobody's rising nobody's succeeding the last person who would be great had a mysterious accident somewhere lord i'm making an inquiry i must find what is the mystery behind the wickedness in this family and all of a sudden the spirit of god starts speaking communicating to you get my message the voice of god speak to you many people do foolish things that's why a man of god can just get up and say i think that we should open five branches did you pray are you sure god was in it you know our fathers of faith used to ask and say is god in this thing it used to be like a little old school it's not old school though it's not old school no matter what price you will pay to ascertain that God is in what you are doing. Please, I beg you in the name of Jesus, pay it. To marry, pay it. I think I, I, God gave me a brain. I feel like having 11 children. You better pray. You better pray. Pray. Don't let carnality drive us. We live, I, I'm very serious. Carnality has destroyed many people. We don't seek God for direction. We seek him when we have gone and messed up and it has backfired. We now run and say, God, why didn't you stop me? And God said, me? No, I gave you a will. I've already said, let them have dominion. If you return back to me, prayer is a sign of humility. It's a sign that you are aware that you are incapacitated. Prayer is a great sign of humility. Imagine that you make somebody, maybe a director in your company, 
and he never comes to your office to ask for questions never comes you are telling him if there's any confusion please come to me you call him after two weeks is there any problem? no 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 boss I'm, I'm okay i mean you just taught me and then you go and stand and check his unit and see the rubbish he's doing and say why didn't you come say boss i've told you Shabi, you say if i need i will come there you are destroying that man's company and your pride prayerlessness is pride though it's not just sin it's pride will i be able to live my life without prayer leading a ministry like this you know many of us is because we don't have any serious burden on you that has an eternal implication are we together when you know that let me tell you the truth ask those who are close to me i pray to get topics it doesn't mean i don't plan but i sit down and i pray lord please speak to me speak to me speak to me the goal is not just to carry out ministry calendar calendar events the goal is to find out make sure what you are saying is what the spirit is saying because when you say what god is not saying he cannot back you remember in the book of ezekiel is wherever the spirit goes that the cherubims follow you see that don't just come and bring nonsense and want god to back you god is not a house boy we must respect him to prayer if you are here and you have never joined the prayer department even if it's for once for prayer why don't you make it this tuesday apostle i don't feel like praying that's why you should know your life is under attack so one way is to go where there is a family of believers and catch the fire say in the name of jesus i receive grace to return back to the place of consistent prayer how consistent is your prayer every day how many days every day we don't pray once a week we may take out serious time once a week we pray every day don't let some of this with all due respect some of these western jargons that has destroyed us you are in africa find out the history of africa the person who is a prayer warrior is still struggling to stand on his two legs you that you are not doing anything now you want a free job in one year free wife twins what, what kind of demand in this world oh come on pray take charge of climate you get up in the morning you are happy you are going to take a serious trip you are hearing that people are dying on the road it's not to plant fear you don't you don't send any prophecy into your morning carelessness here and there we live our lives and we are victims of circumstances we must return to the place of prayer what of families that used to pray before and god promoted them a little no prayer again daddy it's time to pray for you are, you are stupid if you come here again don't you know that i'm now the director see that see let me tell you any promotion and any lifting that steals your prayer life has affected you you better go back to god and create a system around your prayer truth be told there are some of us that may not have all that convenience to pray in the morning but you must find a time personally i'm a i'm a night person I have caught this mystery of night night prayers night silence concentration discernment fewer calls Shakatabata. oh god fire in my life fire in koinonia fire upon my enemies it's not our prayer life it's my prayer life my prayer life do you pray jesus prayed as the son of god as the son of god he didn't pray sometimes the bible says, while it is early in the morning what will it see let me teach you. please if you belong to any group here or any church or any fellowship talk to your people about prayer this is not just some 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 secret allocated to a pentecostal ministry if you don't pray you will be weak you will never be able to birth anything serious believe me you see something with satan when you don't pray he won't attack you yet satan is not a fool 
once he attacks you and the fire gets too hot you will run back and ask for forgiveness and start praying so he leaves you no prayer but you are still moving forward and then you laugh at those who are praying ah so far ahead and he leaves you it's like a meter you keep going down down there is a level you go down he will just close you there first now that he has closed you that's when you see that in one week everything just goes haywire in your life are we together one week couples getting married they plan they are praying praying the moment they get married they throw god away finally our fears have been resolved and the devil says i'm coming he left jesus for a season jesus for a season came back again through peter jesus said i see you get lost came back through Judas. jesus said okay i allow you the hidden wisdom of god that paul saw please we must pray every church service must have a section allocated for prayer no matter how small i don't care whether it is a it is a uh, a bible study session is whatever it is a prayer should be part and parcel of any serious church service for step by step you are leading me and i will follow you all of my days why do we pray we pray to exercise spiritual influence over territories why do we pray as a system of dominion to exercise spiritual influence your church will never grow if you don't pray your church will never grow just because you are anointed no there are many anointed people who never experience growth you need to pray why because a great door and an effectual has been opened but many adversaries satan will try to paint pictures about you that discredits you before those who need your grace you must pray satan will veil the eyes of people to identify you you must pray don't assume pray it's better for there to be a prayer team and a worship team and no excellence in the church is very bad but at least it's better to have a prayer team and a worship team they are the two areas of attack in any church when satan wants to bring down a church listen there are two departments other departments are important don't get me wrong but he infiltrates their prayer team he infiltrates the place of psalmistry where the incense of worship is rising when satan cripples the worship team through bitterness offense are we together name it prayer people pride arrogance me too i am a i am a i i, I now have one small fellowship so don't talk to me anyhow if you are not giving me prayer to lead i'm not coming pride that's how it begins to bend We regulate the spiritual climate over territories through prayer. I shared with us, I think it was last week, of the vision that I saw of someone. I saw somebody fetching something on his hand. Like, you know how you fetch chaff and just blew it like this. And then I started seeing like sicknesses coming on people. We prayed last week here. Help me see that I saw it listen if you don't pray things will be happening above you you will never know and you will sit down who can stand against the Lord no one can no one will Who can stand against our King? No one can. No one will. Oh, 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 oh. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory 
belong to Him. in one minute i like you to blast in the spirit just just shake up your spirit we are men and women of dominion through prayers we take charge of our climate charge of our territories we stay in the hands of evil Come on, pray, pray, believers. Shake of every evil, shake of every plot, shake of every agenda. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen, let me believe us. Let me teach you something. The moment you sense your climate, the moment you sense a presence within your climate, the moment you are lying down in the night and you are sensing like there's someone else in this room, verify by blasting in tongues. Don't ask questions. Shabos Kataratosia. Rekete kashariata kata. Help that lady, please. No matter what time of the night, whether it is raining or there is sun or moon. Hallelujah. Hold on. How about dreams? some bad dreams are not from demons they are a sign they are the angels trying to tell you something is wrong wake up wake up the spirit is willing this body you have drunk it with food you have drunk it with carnality no capacity to stand up and legislate hallelujah hallelujah you're going to sit down shortly but listen to me if you don't have an allocation of special times to deal with spiritual issues in your life you are not growing you are not a spiritual person please hear me by god's grace and i say it with all humility i think with all humility i'll be one of the busiest persons in this place i travel all the time I don't pray at the same rate every day but you must allocate time time where if you if need be you switch your phone if you can keep it on keep it on but pray all this issue of i have a program somewhere i have a wedding somewhere is it not when you are alive i'm not talking of praying as a result of fear 
you are a king there is a scepter on your hand let them remember this word let them if you must sanitize your environment it is up to you fathers teach your children how to pray not just how to go to school teach them how to pray when you are praying carry them don't say they are small they are sleepy that's why we thank god for these are little ones if they sleep let them sleep while prayer is going hear me samuel was lying down close to the ark that's why he had the voice of god you don't hear the voice of god everywhere he said above the mercy seat below the cherubims there i will meet with you and i will relate with you intimately please sit down why do we pray prayer gives you the access to the heart of god and the heart of men let me teach you dominion why do we pray it gives you access hear me there are hardened men in our world who will never give you access to their heart there are wicked men who are holding what belongs to you they will never release it until god gives you their heart he said i will sing unto the lord for he has triumphed gloriously that was the song of miriam that the horses and his riders has been thrown into the sea don't sit down wait and and allow people to waste your time and talk nonsense a lecturer somewhere is refusing to let you go you have been begging he's not listening he's saying bring this bring that or come and meet me somewhere you are saying sir let me move it's because you don't understand dominion all right sir i've heard you Shatters carry your course uh, your your course form put it on the ground blast in tongues and declare i may be your student in the physical but i'm a king in the spirit i decree and declare you must let me go Masas kotabaya sign chapter 3 oh regete kata kata the next day you walk to the office good afternoon sir hey you again well, well, well as he's signing you are seeing the scepter is on your hands listen you are not the first to go through that problem if you don't know how to bail yourself out you can die in that problem and god is still on the throne there are few people who have experienced the victory that prayer brings people have experienced victories impartation prophetic words but that you prayed and turned the hand of things to work in your favor if that happens you will not backslide in prayer again some of us by the grace of god and with all humility we have been in places that only prayer could bring us out where you pray and you don't just pray alone you pray and tell the person what to say in the physical and you come out and you wait for that word look at how many of our parents not moving forward you are asking them what is wrong they say eh, you are seeing somebody was 50 years they fired the, an arrow his leg is not working and now your father is about to be 50 and all of you in the family are watching and laughing watching and laughing you don't watch and laugh I've shared with you my story my father's younger brother died like a chicken my father's elder brother died like a chicken i have seen my mother's obituary in the spirit i stopped it come on now refuse to allow things just move around in your life you have you have a dream and you are already seeing them sack five people in your family you get up and keep the dream in your stomach until the day they sack them then you come as a fake prophet and say i saw it what did you do about it listen prophets cried in the bible when things happen and they did not see they said lord why did you hide this from me god hid things from prophets if he wanted it to happen because he knew if they saw it they would stop it Do you know consistent prayer will shake certain spirits out of you by themselves 
they are lying down there quiet and you are being deceived that oh don't worry you no spirit can find expression in your life and they are quiet there you continue praying every day sometimes when you are praying you sense and then you calm down continue a day will come have you not seen people praying by themselves they get to a level where that spirit can no longer stay the fire becomes too hot it must jump out of them that's what is happening to some of you now and i command those devils i speak standing by this authority i invoke the power of my secret place and i decree and declare that if there be any spirit in this place by the god of heaven i curse them now i curse their operation i curse them now i curse their operation if you let the devil he will kill you i tell you this thing the bible says resist the devil resist the devil it didn't say discourse it didn't say keep watching things happen no favor every door has closed over you you are seeing that it's an attack will you wait until you die or will you pray and force the gates to open can we pray in one minute a favor provoking prayer and say i command the gates of favor open that way that dominion is enforced in the earth realm is by passing decrees the power of words write it down kings reign by passing decrees ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse 4 media help us please we have to conserve time because i want us to pray kings reign by passing decrees the same way in the national house of assembly they sit down and legislate it passes first reading second reading and they pass it into law whoever violates that law has offended the federal government where the word of a king is there is what that means words if you are not a king your words don't have power the power is only for kings when they speak when you are royalty your words are not ordinary where the word of a king is there is power if you are not a king there is no power where the word of a king is passing decree is not just prayer passing decree is commanding realities to be established in the spirit that i decree and declare that nobody nobody becomes a victim of so 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 and so in this family that's a decree elijah passed a decree there will be no rain i make it so let me tell you something listen the diviners and the witches in our villages this is how they program the destiny of men they invoke decrees nobody crosses 25 in this family even when they die the decree is still in force until someone else who has authority and understanding comes and vetoes that decree there must always be a ruling statement in the atmosphere if you don't like the one over you change it change it change it growing up i didn't see very successful people from my paternal side there were not many successful people and the thing was like a cause able-bodied men but they never really become anything serious ah, the list of the list is and i said no way oh no way no way no way no way where the word of a king is there is power what have you said about your life or what have you allowed to be said about your life it matters who you say amen to it matters what you say amen to don't listen to any kind of nonsense and say amen somebody looks at you and say all of you are failures you don't have to confront them but reject it immediately in your spirit i am not a failure i am not no 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 i reject it 
Ah, marriage is now. You see the way it is. I'm only praying for you. I hope you will like your marriage. You may not confront the person because you rebuke an elder not in public. But you keep quiet in your heart. No way. Mine is heaven on earth. I make that choice. Decrease. Kings reign by decrease. Let me show you something. Isaiah 43 verse 26. Isaiah 43 verse 26. While the media is trying to give us that, I want you to write this down. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3. The Bible says God upholds all things by the word of his power. Even God uphold, upholds the universe. Read with me the B part please. From let us. Everybody is projected. One to read. Let us plead together. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Declare thou that what? So how are you justified in the spirit? You declare. If you say I am free, God says Satan, you had him, he's done. That's why the Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so, not wish so. Let the unemployed who want jobs say so, not wish so. When confession is made with understanding, it is powerful. It no longer becomes vain babbling. My life is surrounded by words. I have built a circumference around my life with words like mysteries. Number three, sit down. The third way that dominion is enforced in the earth realm is through creativity and innovation. Now listen carefully. I'll just give us four and then we're done for tonight or maybe we'll just stop here. Exodus 35. Please give us 31 to 33. Exodus 35. Many believers do not know that creativity is spiritual. This is talking about a man we call in the Bible, a popular scripture, a man called Bezalel. Are we together? The tabernacle was about to be constructed and God had to move upon a man called Bezalel to supply upon him the spirit of creativity so that he will invent, he will innovate. Our world today, especially the church, we are bankrupt of creativity. That's why we are not creativity is the system where you birth your seed to rule google apple amazon are we together all these people have demonstrated dominion through creativity you will never never be great in life if you rule alone your ideas must rule with you your seeds must rule with you you are too small to command dominion alone you must spread your seeds today zuckerberg is manifesting the dominion mandate because creativity afforded him to raise his seed in terms of a product facebook and it's all over and had filled him we're reading to 33 with the spirit of god in wisdom and understanding and in knowledge and all manner of workmanship or craftsmanship this is how to de to dominate in your social environment the prayer that i've told you largely takes care of the spiritual climate decrees are spiritual now we are coming to this realm to manifest them you pray in the secret but there must be a physical equivalent to be able to match your dominion christians hear me this is where we miss it you pray and command the spirit of prosperity you pray and declare that i'm going to be a man of influence my family will never be small but then no creativity 32 and to devise curious works to work in gold and in silver and in brass last verse and in the cutting of stones to set them and in carvings of wood and to make any manner of cunning work everybody say creativity listen bishop td jakes is an example of a man who has capitalized on the power of innovation and creativity to enforce dominion show me the products that are ruling the world that came from you what has come out from you by the grace of god today koinonia messages are seeds that have come out of this ministry seeds god's design is for kings to rule with their seeds to face your physical offspring but much more than that 
that which he has put within you must find expression when i look around and i see several ministries that are connected to us and i see what god is doing through them i am overjoyed because that's my seed when i look around when your book is going far that's your seed when your ideas are being executed and is blessing people is causing them to honor god and multiplying your influence that's your seed that's why i hate laziness laziness is anti dominion mandate everybody say creativity when you talk about business invention coming up with products and influence the church is at the back we pray just like i said we fast just like i said but the spirit of invention is com almost completely out of the church we are behind in everything that is sociological we must change creativity the cloth you are wearing today is dominion through somebody's seeds versace gucci right angela galasso all of the designers in the world they are ruling through their seeds are we together bishop david oyedeko is helping to bring dominion to his seeds somebody says i read his book and i've been changed parents are your children are your seeds rising to take over he said his seed shall be mighty upon the earth psalms 112 his seed shall be mighty his seed not have a mighty name a big name is not a big life if your name is bigger than you that's a serious problem because it's possible a great name is not a great life your name can be greater than you when the queen of sheba heard about solomon she assumed he only had a great name so she came to test him and her conclusion was half of this was not told me it's, it is important that you outgrow your name so that whatever it is people hear about you is only a tip of the iceberg the day they meet you they say my god creativity how many ideas are supposed to rise today who is eating because of your creativity who is going to school today because of your creativity where are the clothes where are the books where are the schools where are the businesses where are the conglomerates where are the value adding structures we almost don't have it in church we sit around and we brag and we're happy that's why i encourage one of my goals is to pastor men of influence i've said it like a national anthem i will not pastor weak people i'm not part of those people that tell lies and say it doesn't matter no that's why i'm a friend to politicians that's why i'm a friend to kings you don't have to be corrupted by them but you can stand i believe in influence are we together is your seed ruling show me the company you set up show me the books you wrote who is passing wayek because of something you have taught who is making reference to something that has come out of you are we getting blessed yes when you become a reference in an area your seed is ruling this is part of the dominion mandate it says be fruitful then you multiply how do you multiply they ask ali kodangote how many hours do you have in a day and he says multiply multiply i think eight hours by the number of workers i have that's how many hours i have in a day wise man no wonder he's a billionaire he has multiplied his time by creating seeds that are taken after him let me tell you something it is a cause to be the only one who can do what you do throughout your lifetime now god is a god of transference at a point in your life your, you should be able to end the right to now begin to pour yourself in someone else a mother who has five children none of them can cook that's a bad testimony for a mother a father who has children up to 20 has never taught them on finances has never taught them on marriage has never mentored them on being a man just leaves them to chance that's why many young people are not successful you know why there is no transference no transference in jewish days fathers worked with their sons when they became teenagers they said hey settle down let me teach you how to be a man you don't guess it i teach you 
manhood is responsibility this oh yeah i allocate a farm for you go and work but right now as a student if you are doing any other thing they say don't do any other thing no settle down school but you can go abroad and be schooling and scrubbing toilets and they say you're a very nice person you see how we make people lazy you see an able-bodied young man a christian tongue talker comes to stand in front of your house and say i've not eaten there are grasses everywhere grasses everywhere why don't you sit and say let me see how i can buy a machine and then start weeding people's grasses for money and then employ one or two of these people and while they are working for me i'm having lectures your seed is ruling listen I want you to be seed conscious most of us all we know about seed is money your seed is everything that comes from you capable of reproducing your influence is your seed it doesn't have to be human technology has made it possible for us to spread our seeds so you write a book you sit down and you say look the rate of failure from secondary school to university is a serious problem I think there is something that the people within SS2 to maybe 100 level do not understand you come up with a book you release it that's your seed that's dominion are we together when you open a restaurant and i come and i'm eating when i'm eating your food that's dominion because it came from you a product of your creativity listen write it down i will never be lazy again in my life this this cultural massage that is given to adults that makes adults feel like children an able-bodied young man gets up 10 o'clock 12 o'clock he's snoring around the bed say don't worry just leave him he's a last born very soon that brother will look at a lady somewhere and have the guts to go and tell his parents he wants to marry see this is i don't have a problem this is why sometimes you see and i'm being honest i know their parents here this is why sometimes when young guys or young ladies go and meet parents and say i want to marry and the parents say oh god go and sit down first they get angry and say you are stopping my destiny but let's be sincere are you going to eat your fingers are you going to eat your fingers responsibility your seed apostle i don't have a job what did you read um i read physics education and you don't have a job why don't you open an extramoral center only five courses maths physics english uh, what was the fourth one chemistry and biology for them whatever it is you add five of them that's the only thing i'm doing and you mentor those people you charge one person ten thousand you you trust god and pray and have 50 to 100 students will you beg for bread again we want something for nothing this laziness in africa is a cause parents please i challenge you any of your child that is matured enough tell him from today listen you are not just going to be getting free money after every month mommy i need money the next time i see grass in this house there's no salary for you it looks harsh but you have to train them even if your children are prosperous they must be disciplined many lazy people will not like what i've said but that's why we keep marrying and giving birth to lazy people there is a dimension of dominion that comes through creativity don't ever say there is nothing i have to do you can cook who is eating your food you can make donut start in your room don't wait until you bring one hilarious budget of nine hundred thousand. who do you think will give you the money start in your room there are people roasting corn and God is watching them with honor and dignity very soon they will rise up and make a kind of popcorn that nobody has seen dominion they start exporting it we're about rounding up but lay your hands on your head and pray one minute Lord everything you have buried within me that I'm to dominate with that seed I prophesy it must come out I command the books to come out I command the programs to come up are you praying please don't let the devil say you will not succeed do it and fail but prophesy let the catering school come out in the name of Jesus let the exercise books come out in the name of Jesus
let the award-winning tailoring um, um, outfit come out let the extra moral center come out let the business come out let the bank come out let the investment house come out hallelujah please sit down i want you to know after today i want you to go and sit down please especially if you are poor and broke and you are not doing anything don't just pray and say god when will you wipe my tears that's a foolish prayer go and sit down find a good friend and sit down and say no we have to do something we are, do it and fail failure does not kill do it how much do you have 100,000 300,000 let's have an agreement and sit down at least you have 500 i have 500 you can buy one golf we can buy a golf and start put it on the road it's bringing 10 to 20,000 every week we are starting all this laziness around that people just do and say i'm a king you are not a king dominion through creativity in fact there is a message like that you can get it after this after the service some of you plot and your plating is unusually exceptional why don't you package it why don't you package it some of you sing worship team some of you are looking at me god is telling you it's time there are some of you there is a day worship team will produce the album but start writing songs write songs how many songs have you written two when will you write the rest god is helping me you are not serious you are absolutely not serious are you not seeing in the body of Christ now people are tapping into their innate creativity I'm not only a man of God and many other things I'm a businessman I'm a leader over people I'm a mentor to people everything God put in me will find expression there are books that will be written there are many other things that will be done dominion dominion covenant university landmark university dominion publishing house one time i was watching dr miles Munro's videos and he carried six books and he hid them and he said if there was no dr miles Munro, there will be no rediscovery the kingdom there will be no spirit of leadership think how many corporations prosper today the world is waiting for yours stop waiting on god be serious some of you started writing one book god inspired it you wrote one page and you just left it be serious why don't you get a recorder ah i'm a public speaker start speaking don't wait until there are people speak on a recorder and listen to yourself and correct yourself god will not bring you on stage when you have not been well trained are we together there is a dimension of dominion that will come through creativity there is a dimension of dominion the Aliko Dangotes and the, the, the Oprah Winfrey's and the Bill Gates and even in the body of Christ, great men like the Papa Deboyes, the Wisdom Center. Think how many things have come out of people. You were never, the word education comes from a Latin word to draw from within. To draw from within not just to complete a number of courses are we together now our educational system we salute it but it's limited in many ways and one of it is in supplying stimulating creativity you must reinvent yourself there is no such thing as being educated you are learning or you are out don't say I'm educated you are either learning in an ongoing way or you are out make up your mind today that I will not be the one begging, inconveniencing people, running to people's houses. Sorry, I don't know if God is speaking to you that you should help me. Are you, you have been looking at me. You, you, you have to stop being a nuisance. There is a dimension of dominion. Our parents rejected it. Our siblings have rejected it. Make sure you do not reject it. That from tonight you will challenge yourself. What is that that you have in your hands? Train yourself. By God's grace, there are on common mentors in every area in this house whether it is in business whether it is in finance whether it is in leadership koinonia is a heterogeneous collection of professionals in very many areas you have not identified them because you are not passionate pursuit is proof of passion you must find out and search who can help me i, I have a passion for leadership who can help me 
not to sit and say when will they organize something to help us now it will never happen we like free things we're careless and callous and you know we have to challenge ourselves it is the secret of poverty secret of poverty to sit down and hope one day it will happen i know abba is it not the god of koinonia i know one day he will visit me you can dance all your life and remain the way you are fall down under the anointing roll up and down and get up you have commanded dominion realities are ready to be released in the spirit but there is no creativity no innovation next week is miracle service is it oh dear i would have added one more part it's too late there are two more things i have to talk about there is a dimension of dominion that comes through wisdom and understanding let me just state them quickly maybe another time we'll do a recap i really apologize wisdom and understanding that's the next point part of the ministry of the dominion mandate we dominate by manifesting wisdom and understanding wisdom and understanding wisdom and understanding it's a long scripture but proverbs chapter 8 we, we don't have time but i want you to read all of it he was talking about wisdom he said by me kings reign and princes decree justice wisdom personified and understanding speaking he says let's look at a few verses at least proverbs chapter 8 we're out of time but please just um bear with me for a few minutes and then we're done let's read verse 1 media please take note verse 1 and then we're reading verse 15 and 16 and 17 and 18 then we're reading verse 22 to 23 then we're reading verse 35 and 36 i'll help you in case you've forgotten let's start verse 1 then we're going to verse 15 16 17 doth not wisdom cry and understanding put forth her voice so these are spirits these are personalities these are not just attributes that men have are we together 15 now to 17 then we're going 22 to 24 verse 15 says okay by me kings reign and princes decree what justice 16 by me princes rule so how do you rule wisdom understanding and nobles even the judges of all the earth there's nobody walking in dominion who is bankrupt of wisdom and understanding 17 i love them that love me and those who seek me what you can seek wisdom later and not find it because it takes time 22 to 24 the lord possessed me yeah 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 are you a christian the lord possessed me what in the beginning of his way before the works of old 23 i was set up from everlasting from the beginning or ever the earth was that means before this earth concept came I was the mystery behind the dexterity of the earth 24 when there were no depths I was brought forth when there were no fountains abounding in the water I wish that we had more time we would have read everything that was there it was it was I mean it, it was all of but but our time is gone let's read verse um let's read verse 34 35 36 last three verses now 34 35 36 blessed is the man that heareth me wisdom and understanding watching daily at my gates waiting at the post of my doors 35 for those who findeth me findeth life and shall obtain favor of the lord last verse but he that sinneth against me help me wrongeth his own soul all they that hate me love death they have chosen to be defeated in life anyone who hates wisdom anyone who hates understanding is the same thing as you have signed and say you can shoot me anywhere you see me 
all they who hate me love death wisdom and understanding there is a dimension of the dominion mandate that requires wisdom insight into the systems of god and having the fortitude the faculty the comprehension the working knowledge of the principles and the mysteries of the kingdom knowing what to engage that is responsible for certain outcomes church growth or praise to wisdom and understanding there are keys you don't know it you will not experience it financial prosperity and increase is not luck there is a there is an exact technology to it influence has a system which of them do you know and which of them do you not know and then the last thing i'll talk about is legislature on the strength of the anointing and then we'll stop here yeah, we're going to pray there's no time there is a level of the dominion mandate that requires raw power power direct on sin direct on sin psalm 66 verse 3 say unto god how terrible art thou in thy ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies do what submit themselves to you submit themselves to you submit themselves to you through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves there are supernatural dimensions that must be produced directly by the anointing the healing of sick bodies changing impossible things bringing the power of god to bear the bible is full of dominion that happened by the raw power of god the finger of god the bible says that he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder it takes power it takes power to reign in this wicked world the bible says the whole world lies in wickedness much more than prayer it takes power i was teaching the school of ministry students and um i was teaching them that one of the greatest advantages of a believer is your access to the anointing the anointing is a game changer it vetoes any and everything other factors are very important but show me a man who is lavishly anointed and i show you a man who can do good i show you a man who can walk practically in dominion acts chapter 10 and verse 38 how god look at the extent to which god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power and the bible says he went about doing good you don't do good just by a sincere heart it takes power to do good it takes power to get demons out of people oppressing them it takes power to prophesy over people and say in the name of jesus christ i change your story and their lives change he says for i am a man under authority i say unto one go and he goeth i say unto another come and he comes jesus was speaking and he said verily verily i say unto you the works that i do ye shall also do and he says greater works greater works greater works greater works one of the ways we must exercise dominion over the earth is to be a manifestation of the supernatural the raw power of god on the scene blind eyes opening deaf ears being unstopped the crippled being healed you enter your house and you state the power of witchcraft your presence that anointing that is within you what happens to others you are seeing that other people a calamity is destroying them and you come out of it in a supernatural way you compel men to find out when they threw shadrach meshach and abednego in the fire expecting it to burn them the power of god was brought to the scene they saw a fourth man looking like the son of god and all of a sudden the king saw and acknowledged they threw daniel in the den of the lion listen when you enter the same trouble others enter and you come out that's dominion that's dominion that's dominion there's recession eating and killing and destroying people in nigeria and all of a sudden you arise with such strength and dexterity every time you do something uncommon the world will stand at an attention to see it the world does not honor common things brothers and sisters this mandate was given to us by god it is the way we cause him to come to the scene is the way we represent him the 
we are few we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before this is the song I'll be singing forever Holy the Lord Holy the Lord Listen Everybody say dominion through power Say it again dominion through power Many of you have received strong impartations in koinonia but you are afraid of exercising dominion through them either because you think you are not a man of god so when someone is sick you try my number it doesn't work you try a jimmy's number any of the heads of department and then you get maybe any of the prayer leaders and then you now call sir can you pray for me one day you need to be angry and let today be that day that you go back home and your roommate says something is wrong i always have someone oppress me and he said no i i have been anointed in koinonia I, I, there is a dimension of dominion are we together you lay hands on that person and say in the name of Jesus there are times that people come here and tell me their loved ones are sick I say give me your hands I lay my hands on them I say you carry that anointing and go with it our little children here return with testimonies I laid my hands on my father you must kill fear you must kill fear and go back someone says there is a problem you tell them look i'm a faithful member of koinonia the anointing there apostle may not have the time but i'm standing i'm representing god and i'm a good ambassador of this ministry let's pray if the person does not believe you that's all right and you pray some of you for the first time while you are holding that person he collapses like a pack of card and you too you are surprised you are starting you are growing your faith is being built you speak to the person he says do you know that i return back and from that day no oppression in my dream again the next time that person is in trouble he runs to you you see that we may not be many doing this but we are surrounded by many many william seymour alexander the way god's generals men and women who are doing it god is counting on us we cannot fail our generation god is counting on us all these facets of dominion when they find expression in you then you see that the kingdom can come dominion through prayers settling spiritual climates commanding the forces in the realm of the spirit to bow are we together dominion through creativity decrees you are sending words you are a speaking spirit commanding and influencing and shaping things and then your creativity your ideas your value giving you space in the marketplace nobody insults you and just says you're a christian and so you're a nobody if we're in church let's behave like church now that we're outside church we're a daft dummy you have nothing no you have something to offer to the world then the manifestation of wisdom and understanding wisdom is justified by her children the strange results in your life that become testaments to the fact that you are a custodian of keys given to you by the wisdom of God and finally dominion by manifesting the raw power of the Holy Ghost rise upon your feet we'll be singing forever Holy the Lord, holy is the Lord, holy is the Lord. Let me prophesy to you before we pray. I just sense in my spirit to speak over our lives. Many of us have lost things. Many of us have not seen the reality of dominion in our lives. But I want to speak to you. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen prophesy to yourself hey everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything was stolen shall be restored unto me. Hey, everything that was lost shall be 
everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Turn it into a prayer. My scepter restored, dominion enforced. I declare it. I decree. Lift your voice and pray. The scepter, the symbol of authority. Zaza sakato shegete bata, braka toskele barianda kashabara tofia. Enteke teke legata. Everything, everything that was lost, everything I pursue, I overtake, I pursue, I overtake without fail. I recover, I pursue, I overtake without fail. I recover. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I like you to pray and say, Lord, every level that has been designed that I should enter by now in the realm of the spirit, I command that I must enter now in the physical, financially, spiritually, in influence. Sapata Sakata Late Kato Soto Preketeketa Shabaska Sasapakata Every dimension Joshua Selman enter that dimension Every spiritual dimension you are entering every dimension financially every dimension in ministry every dimension in influence sociologically I decree and declare prophesy upon yourself Prophesy upon yourself. Prophesy upon yourself. Shakoto soto koshe bakata. Leke teke teke te. Enough is enough. I take charge. I take charge. Hallelujah. Last prayer point. I want us to pray and challenge every force of darkness. I say I am back in charge back in charge lift your voice and pray shabas katatosh lekatekate i may have been a, i may have been a prodigal son but i'm back in charge in the name of jesus legislature by the spirit dominion by the spirit i create my realities i create my possibilities by the anointing of the holy ghost by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Shabbato Sokoto Baratai. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands. It's time for you to receive that grace. There is the Spirit of the Lord. Isaiah 11, the Spirit of Dominion. Isaiah 11 there is the spirit of the Lord it's not just a name for the Holy Spirit it is a dimension of his work in a man the spirit of dominion is a rule thou I want to speak to you right now in the name of Jesus I prophesy that everything that has been above you I release an anointing upon you to rise above every challenge right now in the name of Jesus take that fire now that anointing now take that grace now in the name of Jesus I decree and declare whatever you are struggling with right now that you've been trying to come out and it's like he's burying you by the spirit of dominion I bring you out of it now I bring you out of it now I bring you out of it now I decree and declare right now in the name of Jesus the unction for fruitfulness receive it right now nothing dies in your hands receive it now receive it now number two the grace for multiplication many of you have never brought anything out of you you are only eating the seeds of others I command that your seed begins to rule now 
in the name of Jesus Christ. From today, as you open your mouth to utter words, I decree and declare there will be a speedy performance. A speedy performance. As you pass the crease in the spirit, there must be a speedy performance. You see, let me tell you this. When a man, listen, when a man does not have speed in his life, you don't have the entire lifetime to do all that you should do. It, it takes more than just power, right? Please help those in Overflow 1, my God. I'm seeing very strange angelic activities happening already at Overflow 1 outside. Now, listen. When there is no speed in your life, listen. Imagine that I have to walk from here to maybe the roadside and I'm tiptoeing on one leg. Am I moving? Yes, sir. But when will you arrive there? The pressure that you will mount on this leg, it will affect you to a point that you may not even stand it. And so God, when he wanted Elijah to move, because he had already been delayed, the Bible says the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. He was empowered of the spirit and he ran. I, I, I'm, I'm saying this before I pray so that you don't just think it's about anointing and people running around. No. When that grace comes upon you, what God is saying is, I'm ready to shift you. That within a short time, you will see a lot happen in your life. In three days, the work of redemption was done. Three days. This powerful redemption did not happen in 12 years. It happened in three days. By the end of three days, Jesus had ascended, poured his blood, returned back. He was ready. It was now to launch the church. Big things don't have to take plenty time. When the hand of God comes upon you, you will see that a defining moment in your life can happen so fast. Are you ready now? Lift your hands. I want to pray. I will do the praying. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is asking me to shout Jesus, not you now. I'm the one shouting Jesus. I'm going to shout it and at the third time, I tell you it's going to be an avalanche of the power of God. Let me have those people out. Lord, you are bringing speed to your people. And I know that there are angels all around. It's time to change people's levels. And even as you have instructed me, oh God, as I declare that name that is above every other name, I pray that anyone under the sound of my voice who has been crippled in one position, that in the name of the God of heaven, an anointing will shift that person into his destiny. Jesus, that's number one. Mm. Jesus, that's number two. Get ready now. Shabalakata. Jesus. Let that anointing right now. I shift man. Speed. Kabarakatosha. Speed to your life. Oh God, let every delay be broken now. I command the spirit of delay. Be broken. Speed. I shift you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Help that woman. Please help that mama there. Shakatoka tabarakata. Please help them, whether you are an usher or not. Speed! Speed! In the name of Jesus, I command everything that has refused to move in your life. I move it by the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm still praying. I'm still praying. The Holy Ghost is moving you. Except this prayer is not for you. There is an anointing that must shift you. Must shift you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lord shift them to their destinies please you will need to help the ushers whether you are an usher or not just, just help them there's only so much we can do there's no power that keeps you down this is miracle service 
Sekete karakatos. Embrakata katoka telakata. Lift your hands, please. I'm praying. For some of you now, it's the same prayer, but it's no longer just for you. You may not be experiencing it, but your family needs speed. The anointing now is moving from individuals to families. Lord, where are the families that need the shift of the Holy Ghost? I decree and declare right now, I speak by this apostolic and prophetic grace. Families be shifted now. Speed, speed, speed. Speed, Papa Rakoto Shegeta, Epre Kete 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 Kete. I decree it, I declare it. I decree it and I declare it. Shapa Kato Katabala Katosh. No more delay. I stretch my hands I'm seeing an angel of the Lord just on this road I stretch my hands right now I move people God is moving people here I decree it, I declare I decree I declare I decree I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus it must work for you I shift you no more delay in your life this lady wearing hijab right now the lord is shifting you that lady in the name of jesus i stretch my hands let the anointing of the spirit take away delay from your life right now in the name of jesus now all those in front i'm praying any chain that has tied anyone's leg or any family at the count of three i speak into the realm of the spirit those chains go now one two three go 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 i lose those families now I command chains be broken now let the families be set free in the name of Jesus young lady lift your hands you you put in your hand on your mouth. yes i'm seeing an angel pouring oil on you and the lord is saying that he's shifting things i'm seeing like a chain on your head being broken now i stretch my hands right now in the name of jesus let that chain be broken let that chain i command that devil i'm seeing a snake in the spirit let her go now in the name of jesus hallelujah be sensitive i want to pray a very serious prayer now he said behold i give you authority over snakes and scorpions if you don't like the prayer and pray no problem but i want to pray a dangerous prayer i'm seeing snakes this is what i'm seeing over families now let me tell you this reptilian objects is a representation of the spirit of sorcery in the name that is above all names i declare every spirit that has caged any family here i decree and i declare right now by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus and at the count of three everyone shout jesus as you shout jesus i see fire everywhere inside and outside there is massive deliverance about to happen I command every devil and every activity of sorcery to leave now. One, two, three. In the name of Jesus, I crush Satan. I crush his works. 
inside outside i command every power every force go now go now hallelujah please be sensitive just give me the volume i'm seeing fire by my left and right just bring out all the people that fall under the anointing now as i'm walking here in the name of jesus i command that devil you must go now you must go now you must go now i declare it by the anointing of the holy ghost as soon as i come close to you that fire and there is an anointing you can't stand it it's impossible as soon as i come close to you as soon as I come close to you, that fire, there is a judgment. Let them go now. I'm coming this way. Right now, in the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming this area, this direction. Let them go now. Release them. I come by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Let them go now. Let them go now. Release them. I'm seeing someone here tied around the stomach. Release them now. Let them go. In the name of Jesus, let them go now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I stretch my hands here. Right now. The fire of God is setting people free now. Lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them, lose them now, lose them, lose them in the name of Jesus, lose them now. Those outside, lift your hands. God is about to set you free. Please, I'd like you to pray. Everyone pray. Enough is enough tonight. Everyone pray everyone pray now listen overflow one listen to me listen you don't have to touch me please you don't have to touch me but in the name of jesus hear me the lord brought me out here because the time has come for something to leave someone as soon as i pass here i don't have to come close to you you are going to feel fire all all over that fire that will be the end of it you must testify right now i stretch my hands right right now it's over over now Shakos Katanika, a Keto Santa Ricata, Embreketo Seketa, a Kato Sekiaka, Manta Brekotos. Let them go, let them go, let them go, let them go, let them go now. The spirit of sorcery, I cause it now. The spirit of witchcraft, I cause it now. Please help your neighbor so they don't enjoy themselves. Go, go, be free. I command that power by fire. By fire, by fire, it leaves you now. Those of you here, I want you to lift your hands. Overflow two. Overflow two, lift your hands. Let me go to the front there. Enough is enough. As I pass this place, listen. I want you to be very sensitive. There is a strong anointing tonight. Overflow two. Please help your neighbors. I'm only going to pass here right there. As soon as I come close to you, except God is not God. If there is any force holding you, holding your life and your ministry, it must go right now. Right now, in Jesus' name, be free. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. I command those devils. Go, 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 go. Let them go, go. Go now, release them, release them, release them. Every covenant, release them. I break that power now, 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 now. Be broken. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, listen, I didn't know we have an extra overflow here. I want to pray for those by the side here. As I stretch my hands to you, please don't waste your time. I'm seeing fire already. Here, in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, those of you by the roadside, one, two, let.
let them go by the power of the Holy Ghost. I release you. Please help them so they don't injure themselves. I declare, I decree and I declare, you are free. Praise the Lord. Overflow 3, your life is about to change. Listen. Listen. Honestly, there is, there is an anger in my spirit. Because as I entered, I'm just seeing chains everywhere. Right now, in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, bring all of them out. From the front to the back. Right now, at the count of three, overflow three, all of you shout Jesus. One, two, three. Every power, bring them out. Every yoke, every force, every operation of darkness, bring them out. I'm seeing chains on people's feet. Chains, chains, chains be broken now. Be broken now, be broken now, be broken now, be broken now. Change, be broken now. Hallelujah. Bring them out. Overflow three, lift your hands. I'm still praying. Listen. I'm seeing, I'm seeing patterns. Something that is not just happening to you alone. Happening to your father, your mother. As soon as I pray now, I'm seeing fire all over this place. Anyone under that case, you must be free now. At the count of three, anyone holding any pattern, any generational thing, in the name that is above all names, at the count of three, one, two, three. Shout Jesus. Bring them out. That devil must let you go today. My God, look at what God is doing in Overflow 3. Look at what God is doing in this place. Hallelujah. Listen to me. The Lord is showing me. I'm coming back. But I don't know why God is, is, is on the case of overflow 3. The Lord is showing me some of you. I'm seeing you are climbing a ladder. But that ladder breaks down and brings you down. You see things as if it's supposed to happen. But a force draws you back. The moment someone wants to lift you. You will have a dream in the night. And in that, in that dream. Someone will come to sleep with you. Or something will happen. Right now at the count of three. Shout Jesus. I command those devils. One. Two. Three. Let them go now. Let them go now. Total emancipation. Hallelujah. Jakakos kaparusi kata hasana katushia. Embrekata katos kata brekatish. Now, now, all those who are under the anointing here outside, I pass a decree that every power that has held you. I speak as one send at the count of three let them go one two three go 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 let them go lose your hold over their lives let them go now let them go now let them go now hallelujah I'm inside this place now and I'm standing in the spirit. I've not started impartation yet. But the Lord is showing me the number 12. And the Lord is saying there are 12 people here. There is a strong call upon your life.
there is a mighty anointing lord where are they shakatos kapakarikata drink of that wine mantekatos ketekekata shaprakata a ministry of signs and wonders ministry of signs and wonders a ministry of signs and wonders a ministry of signs and wonders signs and wonders signs and wonders I'm still praying the anointing of the spirit is still locating men I don't know why God is talking about ministry the call don't run away from the call don't run from the call a ministry of signs and wonders the Lord is telling someone you are the liberator of your family a ministry of signs 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 there are ladies here entering that ministry of signs and wonders signs and wonders hallelujah main auditorium lift your hands i'm seeing i'm seeing a distribution of the healing anointing going on in the main auditorium and i stretch my hands from here it doesn't matter what overflow you just be sensitive to what god is doing main auditorium i'm seeing eight people eight people in the main auditorium at the count of three right now in the name of jesus fire will come upon your hands i'm prophesying to the main auditorium but everybody can receive I decree and declare that healing anointing one two three let that anointing come now let it come now fresh fire hallelujah listen listen I'm seeing oh my god the Lord is opening my eyes here I'm I'm seeing someone don't don't be ashamed and don't be embarrassed your father I don't know if I'm seeing something like a priest this is someone that worships something like an idol is in your house I'm not saying you're a bad person please I'm not saying you're a bad person you grew up seeing this happen that they worship those idols that gentleman is here in overflow three or oh, 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 here Please, who is that person? Come. I want to break that thing now from your life. Please, quickly. Please, make sure you hear what I say before you come. Just clear, make way for them. Mm. The power of witchcraft. Young man. You're going to be a mighty man of God. I don't know you. Lift your hands. An anointing is coming upon you now. Huh? It will shift you to a realm of signs and wonder. Or let that anointing come upon him right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands, my dear. The power of idols. In the name of Jesus. I break that force now. I break that force now. I break that force now testimony of breakthrough for you and for your family in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus hallelujah I'm praying listen I stretch my hands towards you and I speak I don't know what it is that you have been involved in but in Jesus' name, I'm stretching my hands. Why am I seeing fire leaving my hands? Who is it looking for? In the name of Jesus Christ. I command everything that is not of God be broken now. The blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. By the blood be broken now. Hallelujah. Just two more things I'll do here. 
whether I'm in this overflow or not, I just stood here to show you that it makes no difference. I know the larger congregation is here. Lift your hands, all of you, if you can. Just lift it as high to the heavens. Now, I'm seeing, you don't have to come out, but I'm seeing keys in the spirit. Listen, this is access to a new dimension. And I'm seeing the number 44. Just lift your hands. You don't need to say anything. Father, I stand as one sent. Those keys are locating families and locating people. It may be a key that explains why things have not been working. Lord, from the front to the back, like a mighty wind, whoever must receive that key, receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let her go now. Out. Out. Now. Now. This lady wearing a red hair tie. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing a grace that is coming. Let that anointing come upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, let that anointing come upon you. Hallelujah. Overflow three. I'm seen by the spirit the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing the names of members of your family like written already written already I'm going to pray listen except God has not sent me as I'm praying some of you instantly the power of God will come upon you and God is going to open your eyes you are going to see victory and deliverance in fact I see a family where three of your siblings they've married none of them has a child none of them at all has a child they've done everything to do but there's no child but i stand in the name of the lord father where are those families right now like a mighty wind like a mighty wind oh god let it end right now let there be an opening let there be an opening let there be an opening in the name that is above all names let there be an opening young lady come call that lady for me call this gentleman too this man yes bring him in the name of jesus you need to be delivered i command the spirit that torments you to go now by the power of the holy ghost i release you my dear hold my hands to you I'm seeing that your life is about to change. Two weeks from now, it will surprise you what the Lord is going to do in your life. I decree and I declare it over your life. I stand by the anointing and I pray for you. Father, according to your word, within two weeks, turn this lady's life around. Supernaturally. In the name of Jesus. Emeka. Who is Emeka? Emeka. I'm hearing a name, Emeka. Overflow three here. I'm just talking to overflow three people. Emeka, Emeka, please quickly, please quickly, don't waste that time. Where is that gentleman? What's your name? I want to pray. What do you do? I'm going to pray for you. You are not from this place. You came for NYC. I want to pray. Lift your hands. Because I'm seeing, look at me. The Lord is giving you the grace for wealth. Huh? I want you to believe it but every prosperity that does not have an assignment to end up destroying the people you love jesus with all your heart i want to pray for you it will surprise you the way god will begin to turn things around in your life father change this gentleman's story in the name of jesus forever overflow three i'm still praying the spirit of prophecy is coming on nine people 
I will count four at the fourth count. One, two, three. Where are they, oh God? Four. Nine people. Nine people. The spirit of prophecy. The spirit of prophecy. All of you open your mouth and begin to pray. Everything you desire, overflow three. Open your mouth and decree. Open your mouth and decree. I'm seeing an anointing around here. Who is that person? I stretch my hands. I'm seeing chains breaking just within this region as I'm standing here. Father, let the chains be broken now. The anointing of the Spirit. Find that person. Let the chains be broken right now. 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 Be broken now. Please, everyone pray. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Everyone pray. Hold on. There's someone here. The Lord is saying, I'm rolling away your shame. I'm seeing light. As I was just passing, I just saw light. Two people. Let the anointing find those people now. Two people. Right now, I decree. Overflow. Two. Right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I decree and declare by the anointing of the Holy Ghost shame reproach let it go now shame reproach let it go now shame reproach help them let it go now in the name of Jesus Christ who is Gabriel 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 I'm hearing a name who is Gabriel is there someone like that you are wearing a maroon you are wearing like maroon kaftan Gabriel Maroon Kaftan. Is there someone like that? What's your name? Do I know you? Lift your hands, my brother. God is about to change your life. God is about to turn your life around. Uh, where are you coming from? I want to pray for you. You love Jesus. What is... Is it Oleku or Aleku? What is that? Huh? Huh? Where are you from? Benway State. You are from Benway State. This is what has tied down your life and your family. I want to pray for you. I'm not a herbalist there. Eh? Father, in the name of Jesus, let this gentleman be free right now. I command that devil to leave you now. Just keep him there. In the name of Jesus. These two people, this gentleman, you, yes, and the lady by you, come quickly. Please. Low, low, low like a mighty wind. Spirit of victory, what do you do, my friend? You're a student, you love Jesus. I want to pray for you. Huh? Yes, Are you together? Yes, sir. Because I saw light on husband and wife. Yes, please. Well, I'm not going to discuss your issue now, but two of you need deliverance. Eh? You love Jesus, but you need serious deliverance based on what I'm seeing now. Huh? You are not husband and wife yet, but I'm seeing a lot of stories. Father, in the name of Jesus, look at me. You're going to be very wealthy, but the first thing you need to edit are your friends. Huh? Hear what I'm telling you. Huh? My, uh, my sister, you know what I'm saying, right? Huh? So your friends. Huh? Confirm, sir. Listen to me. You are not truly born again if your friends don't change. Hear it from me. All this born again that is one leg and you have all kinds of friends. If, if I am a drunkard and you are not a drunkard but we are staying together, I'm close to a drunkard. That means I can be implicated by everything a drunkard can be implicated by. Is that true? So my friend, you love God there eh? but you see, um, look at what I'm doing. One leg in, one leg out. Huh? Don't be embarrassed. When I make the altar call, you need to run and come quickly. Jesus is not just some religious thing that you just run to. Just for, No, 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 no. Let, let's take God serious and take him. Look what I see, my friend. I see God turning your life in a way that will surprise you. But friends, and this is not just a message to this gentleman alone. It's a message to many of us. Because the demons that destroy our lives 
work by bringing wrong friends they make you compromise your values it's not your fault but when they come they are vocal about what they believe and because you do not have a community of like-minded believers but let me tell you the truth it matters who you listen to if the devil positions a wrong person to counsel you and they give you a counsel of Ahitophel God may be calling you to a great ministry but you will hear a counsel that would destroy God's purpose over your life I pray for everyone here that in the name of Jesus if you are under the yoke of wrong friends I stand and I speak right now may the Lord set you free this night in the name of Jesus Christ my dear there is favor on your life but it's not speaking at all hmm? you are a nice lady come I'm looking at you I'm seeing a young lady but I'm seeing the face of you and another old woman flashing me and going back see wickedness is real oh. let me tell you my brothers and my sisters wickedness is real huh this is a young beautiful lady you see her standing but you now look at it do you know let me explain something whatever overflow just listen I want to explain something you see this is the mistake that we men of God make sometimes I can look at a beautiful lady like this now and see the face of an old woman and if my word base is not sound and balanced I will I will interpret the vision I've seen verbatim and now call her a witch you see the mistake we make that we call people and then assuming now they are married I would now advise him and say, Mr. Man, you married a witch. Oh, you do you know what it means to be a witch? <laughs> so uh, God is you see that God is, is balancing a lot of things in our lives. Let's be careful because sometimes we may see a vision. I already know what is happening. It is true that the lady needs help, but it doesn't mean imagine that I look at this lady now and say, My you're a witch. No. This is a lovely, she has a beautiful heart. I already see by the spirit. Very beautiful heart. But it beauty and a good heart does not take away oppression. It takes the power of God. How terrible art thou in your ways? Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. So many of you are here, you find out for instance, the moment you enter a relationship, come for instance, as you mean... I enter a relationship with this lady and you find out that there may be something wrong in her life and it starts affecting me. Have you seen that happen? I'm doing well in business but just because I married this lady, I start going down. And now you meet a man of God and if, the man, if you are in ministry here, please be careful. You have to trust God for grace to be balanced. Are we together? I can now look at this lady and say, Ah, your wife is the reason behind your failure. Um what i'm trying to say is that oh there might be a spirit connected to her that is affecting me and the works of my hands but it doesn't mean she's bad a good man of god will bring about that separation and then through the transforming power of the word now help this couple to stand and become the best of couple because a body without a spirit is dead so it's not about condemning and destroying the body are you getting it now so my dear let me tell you you're a wonderful lady Huh? we are going to deal with this nonsense now this whatever it is that the devil is bring, because this thing is affecting your life you don't know why good things don't come to you you are a very nice lady hold my hands father hold it with both of your hands I decree and declare ah. I'm seeing fire leaving my hands in the name of Jesus I command this devil I'm seeing through the face of this old woman be gone now. My dear, I set you free and I open the door of favor for you right now. Please, everybody lift your hands. I'm seeing, I've not seen this in a long time. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing an anointing going to Benway State. Benway State now. Benway State. You are from Benway State. You see that that power will touch you. Even if you don't know what state you are from. Benway State. Lord, where is In the name of Jesus. The power of God is bringing deliverance. Benway State. In the name that is above all names. In the name that is above all names. In the name of Jesus. Madam, I'm going to pray for you. Two things. 
I'm seeing that the devil wants to put stroke, complete stroke. The devil wants to paralyze you from head to toe. But we are going to destroy that now. In the name of Jesus, hold my hands. I decree and declare, be free now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Madam, I don't know you, but ah, you please come. Ah. This is your first time coming. I need to pray for you. What do you do, ma? Uh, you are jobless, ma. Huh? I'm looking at you and I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit, two of your hands are tied. There is nothing you do that works and prospers. It's not normal. You are a very good woman. Please don't be embarrassed. I hope I'm not embarrassing you. I want to pray for you. I give you three weeks, 21 days, ma. Your life will turn around in a way that will surprise you. I lay my hands right now and I declare, I'm seeing chains leaving you. I command those chains to go. Father, turn her life around in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Hold on. Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, I open that closed door now. I open that closed door now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Everyone, open your mouth and pray. The Lord is asking me to stand here, just here, just to stand here. Because the Lord is bringing breakthrough here and here, here and here, right now, here and here. I command right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, every planting that is not of God, I uproot it now. I uproot it now. I uproot it now. Lift your voice and begin to pray, please. Lift your voice and begin to pray. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I know our time is gone. We are going to be very fast. Sir, you're welcome, sir. Can I pray for you, sir? Why are they here? Priest. You, sir. You are a priest? I served, my father served and died. Sorry, where are you from, sir? I'm from Mallory. Sir, I want to pray for you. The Bible says, even the lawful captives... Even the lawful captives. My brothers and my sisters, you will be surprised to see what happens in your life after this miracle service. This, this woman, come. Madam, you, yes, come. Please quickly, come. We're out of time. Say in Jesus' name. Say it in Jesus' name. My life is about to change. Say it again. Say in Jesus' name. Reproach is leaving me now. In the name of Jesus, let it go forever. In Jesus' name. Sir, I hold your hands and in the name of Jesus, every ordinance that is not of God, help him. I command that it is broken right now. You are an elderly man, but I use you as a point of contact. We break every ordinance of darkness. This, this lady too. Priest, you? Your dad, your father is a priest. Currently. Oh, where? Oshun State. Don't be embarrassed, eh? You are here because Jesus wants to help you. Lord Jesus, it is not your will that any man perish, but that everyone comes to the knowledge of the truth. I deliver this lady right now. Everything they have given you to drink and eat, I stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and I set you free now. Be gone. Now! Out! Let it leave her. I'm seeing that the father has given her so many things in her life. But in the name of Jesus. Kai, Jesus power is really super power. Really super power. That in one moment, something that has been done in a lifetime can live. Out! Now! Everything that is not of God. Her father is a priest, or not her uncle. Direct father. Imagine how many times... She has been involved in all of these things. But in Jesus' name, you are set free. This, this man too, why is he here? Look at my eyes. Just look at my eyes. You are receiving the healing anointing now. Huh? 
in the name of Jesus Christ Lord grant him access to the healing anointing your healing power now oh dear our time is gone this is sometimes I honestly wish that this this because there are so many things I see but we have to work with time this lady you come hurry up now please come uh, we're out of time wonderful lady look at me you are a savior to your family you hear what I said you are a savior you may look small but you are a savior to your family the only thing is that you need to continually be serious with God your heart with him your heart with him hold my hands father in the name of Jesus I take away distraction from her life right now by the anointing of the Holy Spirit I take away distraction I take away distraction I, we have we've not even prayed for the sick girl. my dear come this lady waving your hands come quickly your life is about to change come where are you coming from you are coming from Abuja yes, I'm here with my husband husband yeah. where are you sir let's clap for the husband Two of you came from Abuja. Last time. You came with? For SOM. Came. I can't remember. You came with you. Oh, your son was a graduate of SOM. No. We came with him. Oh, okay. So I'm a graduate. I want to pray. What do you do, sir? Um, I'm a minister of God. But at the same time, I do business. But it's sir, okay. I want to pray for you. Eh? Things are not working. You need the anointing. You are a sincere man. My dear, the prophetic grace is coming on you as I'm speaking now. In the name that is above all names, I stretch my hands. That anointing, you will start having dreams. Receive that grace. Two of you need empowerment. Ministry, ministry without genuine empowerment will make it look as if you are wasting your time. Are you a man of God? Stand up. Stand up. Take that anointing now. In the name of Jesus, you step into a new dimension. I take away shame and reproach from your life and ministry. From today, you step into a realm of signs, wonders, miracles. In the name of Jesus. Can I pray for you, sir? Look at me. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Just hold it with both of your hands. In the name of Jesus, I transfer grace, signs and wonders, strange testimonies, your business, between now and 30th of November, sir, your finances will change, you and your wife, in ways that will surprise you. You will come back and testify. In the name of Jesus Christ. This man waving your hands, come together with that woman by your side. Who is she? Come, please, two of you, quickly. Let's appreciate them as they come. Oh, oh. I want to pray for you ah. madam I'm looking at you you're a nice woman but I'm seeing you carrying a load huh I'm seeing you like this and I'm seeing a load on your head and if I don't pray for you this load is going to destroy you I want to pray for you where are you coming from are you new here by Elsa by Elsa hmm. all the way I think we should appreciate them <laughs> what do you do sir I'm a pastor you're a pastor you are in ministry, both of you? Evangelist. My ministry is separate. Your ministry is separate, evangelist. but both of you came from yes, Bielsa. Came you are an evangelist. Yes. You pastor a church? Yes, sir. How long has it been? Okay, I was uh, about four years now in Bielsa. But just... you were somewhere? Yes, I was in Abuja. You were in Abuja? Yes. And then you left Abuja and went to Bielsa. Do you know what happened? Is it your church now? You're serving someone else's church. Okay, I want to pray for you. Because what I see God do through your life, I'm seeing God giving you two things. The grace for leadership, number one. Number two, the grace for finances. These two graces, God is giving it to you. 
I don't know you, sir. I'm seeing you for the first time. Ma, you are an evangelist. I'm going to pray for you. What do you do? You hold crusades and all of that? No, I, I usually have meetings every month. And then I speak on radio. I have a live radio. I do my evangelical on radio. And then oh, you TV. do a live radio? Yes, live radio talk show. Three things. One, barrenness. Two, poverty. Three, witchcraft. You are carrying the grace to smash nonsense out of these three things as you are going back. Don't forget. Huh? The same grace on you, I'm seeing it come on this lady. This one. This one. This lady I'm talking to. I want to pray for you. Sir, this thing is an election of grace. You see, I'm, I'm also a spectator. The same way you are watching. Me too, I'm watching. With wonder and shock, the way this thing works. That God can just change a man's life overnight overnight evangelist my hold my hands father this is a dear woman of god all the way from bielsa i stand by the anointing of the holy spirit and i declare fresh anointing fresh dimensions in the spirit and i pray madam the lord is asking me to pray for your finances seriously for your finances and then the lord is saying i should tell you to pray for faithful workers I'm seeing you do a program for women when you go back. This thing I'm seeing is going to be a powerful program. There is a program in Abuja that looks like what you would do. It's called When Women Pray. I'm seeing that same kind of grace on you. That you are going back to Bielsa and God is giving you uncommon grace for women. In the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare you carry that grace right now, madam. My God will honor you. Ah! In the name of Jesus, supernatural grace. Drink of that wine, sir. I'll pray for you. The grace for leadership, the grace for finance. But I'm, ah, it's not only pastoring I'm seeing you do. What else do you do? I manufacture paint. You manufacture paint. That's right. Sir, what am I seeing? This is somebody, it's, it's not directly the government. But this is somebody that is connected to the government. The Lord is going to connect him to you. It's, it has something to do with supplies. That thing will make you millions overnight in a way that it will surprise you. Please write it. You will see it happen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this man of God. I stretch my hands. Drink of that wine. That anointing. Drink of that wine. You will never be the same. I stretch my hands. I take away every limitation from your life. And I decree and I declare your life turns around from today in the name of Jesus. Give Jesus praise. Goodness, 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 goodness. Can we still pray for the sick? We can't close this without praying for the sick. In the name of Jesus. Be healed from it now. I command that devil, that virus. Go! Now! In the name of Jesus. You go and write your test. Bring back your results. Go. Listen. I, can we? You see how sometimes this thing, we are really constrained. That's why we do our best. The healing anointing is already flowing. God wants to heal. Maybe I will just pray. I will just pray for the sick from here. We'll do it that way. Right? But make no mistakes. Just that you, that you are not coming out doesn't mean I want to pray for you now. We'll take a few testimonies now. In the last three or four months, I have seen, I don't know why this happens, but I have seen a dimension of the healing power of God. Very creative miracles. So I want to pray. You are trusting God for a miracle. Lay your hand right now on your body quickly. I want to pray for you now. Please believe God for a miracle. Now, this is what will happen. Overflow. One, two, three. The roadside. And then those following us online. Our time is gone. But as soon as I pray for you now, 
I pray for you the power of God is going to come upon you I'm going to ask you to check yourself praise the Lord we may not take all the testimonies but since we have chosen this method now as soon as I pray I ask you to check yourself you will be surprised what has happened to you and whether you are in overflow one two or three I'm going to ask you to run very quickly you're going to come right here pastor Jimmy will be here with pastor Alpha they will just check you and we'll take one or two of the testimonies and I'll just confirm that um, how many of you brought your prayer request let me see did you bring your prayer request okay ushers this is what you, I want you to do PR department help them protocol please help them while I'm praying for the sick I think we can do it too your prayer request please make sure that your prayer request or that of your loved ones get to the ushers just lift it the ushers have a system of collecting it you don't have to be rowdy those outside you can pass it to the last person in the aisle if you will not bring any confusion you can have that very quickly please lay your hands now i want to pray jesus A lady in overflow one is going to shout a loud shout for everybody to hear as soon as that shout happens i'll begin to pray for the sick very loud shout from overflow one a strong anointing is coming on that person the moment that happens that's the shout there now i'm ready to pray for the sick in the name please agree with me everyone in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare right now those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out I'm, I'm praying now every spirit of infirmity please make sure you are hearing me overflow one two three every spirit of infirmity right now by the power of the Holy Ghost I curse you now I curse you now say amen I curse you now in the name of Jesus I command every spirit behind every infirmity over anyone's life be healed now in Jesus name be healed my God the power of God is touching people already be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus be healed in the name of Jesus overflow one two three by the roadside be healed in the name of jesus now i command every blood condition be healed from it now in jesus name peptic ulcer the lord is healing ulcer right now be healed in the name of jesus christ be healed in the name of jesus christ lumps all kinds of lumps multiple lumps i command those devilish lumps to live now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing a number of people having um hepatitis the lord is healing hepatitis right now by the power of the holy ghost eye conditions in the name of jesus you're going to feel fire just come to your eyes be healed right now in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus every pain that has to do with the bones i decree and declare let the power of god touch you right now there's someone you have severe pain around your back just right here your lumbar vertebra in the name of jesus i stretch my hands be healed right now in jesus name be healed in jesus name there's someone you don't hear well with your this is left left ear and then sometimes you just hear like a sharp you know how bees are Zzz, that sound the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus every kind of fibroid every kind of growth in your stomach in the name of jesus be healed from it now be healed from it now be healed from it now now whether i mention your case or not whatever is wrong with you i stretch my hands and i declare be healed in the name of jesus be
be healed in the name of Jesus some of you when you fell under the anointing long before I started praying for the sick you got up and found out that you have been healed now overflow one if they are coming here for the healing please just clear the way for them overflow one overflow two overflow three and the roadside i'll give you a minute those online if you're healed you can you know just just send it as an inbox on our facebook page or you can find a way to post it i want you to check yourself now within a minute or two the moment you find out that the power of god has touched you make your way some of you you get up under the anointing you find out that the pain there's a lady who has a severe case of bleeding go and check yourself the bleeding is gone gone completely and i'm seeing someone heaviness around the chest is just lifted gone like that please check yourself very quickly and come we may not take all the testimonies but at least let's take a few while we are doing that let me have all the prayer requests very quickly god bless you check yourself quickly koinonia are you celebrating jesus the lord is touching people show them where to come look at look at god touching people already please make your way make your way the power of god has touched you those outside overflow one overflow two clear the way for them just come you can stand on the queue there and let's have one or two testimonies god bless you koinonia are you celebrating miracles here yeah. make your way be bold don't be ashamed make your way as soon as the power of god has touched you back pain since hold last on, year hold on you... just a moment please all make sure if 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 your prayer request has not been collected please i want you to wave it jesus is still healing people you just come join the queue god bless you yes please back pain since last year can you, you sit for a, a few minutes just sit for a few minutes and then we're done let's just hear the testimonies if as you are hearing the testimony god is still healing people and i want you to make your way and then come to okay go ahead pastor Alpha. my god the... god is still touching people i'm seeing people being touched even in overflow three overflow three check yourself right now and make your way yes please you go mentioned ahead. the case of back pain she's been having the problems this last month back but pain. she's healed now how long come my dear let's have another mic please anytime we're doing this please technically it should be a standard procedure you should know what we're doing please so that we don't delay unnecessarily how long my dear since last month yes in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare it never returns again by the power of the holy spirit back pain gone forever heaviness in the chest disappeared how long my dear just when you came here in the name of jesus hold my hands um i'm seeing someone you had something like a a growth around your neck check it now you'll be surprised to find out it's gone gone completely gone completely by the power of the holy ghost gone completely in jesus name i declare that every operation of darkness over you is gone in jesus name give jesus praise deafness in the left ear since 2012 since 2012 oh come on koinonia how long my friend a man of god told me about it in 2012 and i prayed but i was hearing those b sounds and i don't hear really which of them the left ear. put your hand there now in the name of jesus it never never returns to you by the power of the holy spirit yes also you mentioned also ulcer. how long yes. okay where are you from kaduna state that's where you are from your state of origin no biologically biologically where are you from i'm from each but i got i mean i'm from state there's a reason why i said this there's a lot you don't know where you are from there is a long story leave the issue of healing now where eh? i need to pray for you don't feel bad huh Look at me. Where are your parents? Who are you staying with? My mom and my, my stepdad at Kaduna. Okay, it's okay. I'll talk to you. Eh? Father, help this gentleman. Because this gentleman is a great gentleman, but there is a lot I'm seeing in your life. I crush the hand of darkness over your life now. And I declare be free in Jesus' All, name. Sir, Koinonia, you are pain. not celebrating. You are so used to miracles in this place. He was feeling the May pain, but as you prayed for him, it left. It's gone completely. How long? Since July. July. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord perfect you. Apostle, you mentioned someone with pain at the back. It was her for the past three years. What's your name, my dear? Juliana. Juliana. You mentioned something, the lower... Uh, the lower back pain. 
affected her left leg also. This pain in Check her it back. now. Check it. Check it. Any pain is gone completely. Give Jesus last three praise. years. In the name of Jesus Christ, it never returns to you again. Please make sure that we have the request. If you are still yet, if you are still with your own, wave it. Just wave it and an usher will come. Look at that man. And you are sitting quietly there. You wave it and let them know. Pain at the back, completely healed. Pain at the back. You fell under the anointing. Ah, see you looking. In the name of Jesus. It's, it's a good baguette, my friend. Huh? If you fall under the anointing and your destiny arises, it's a wise baguette. Is that true? In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, never again in your life. The power of God is coming on someone in overflow one. Overflow one. Please carry the person and bring the person. Overflow one. The overflow by the roadside. Overflow two. Sorry. Overflow two. I meant to say. Ah, look how powerful the power of God is. I said overflow one and nothing happened. I just said overflow two. Then I now went to say. She's had pain on the left, left shoulder since How long, my dear? Seven. Let her talk. How long? 2007. You've had what? I've had this pain. It will come and go, come and go. But today it has been intense. But when you mentioned the case, the pain left. It's gone completely. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Up, down. Come. In the name of Jesus Christ. I will pray, but the person I'm talking about is overflow too. Overflow two. The overflow by the roadside. So you bring the person. In the name of Jesus. Perfection for you right now. In Jesus' name. She's had serious um, back pain. That back pain. Had to start horse riding so that you can correct. But today. They asked you to ride a horse? Yes. Who said you should ride a horse? The doctor? Yeah. Or just advisors? <laughs> don't, don't listen. She's shy. <laughs> the horse. This is the man. It's amazing how you come for koinonia minding yourself and you are surprised to see people just carrying you and you are wondering where am I going to? The anointing. Amazing. Let me just talk to them and then don't worry, do your horse thing. Eh? I'm just happy that you are healed. So you can go and ride your horse now for fun. In the name of Jesus, you are perfected, completely perfected in Jesus' name. I take away this proverb called Ichabod over your life and over your family. I'm speaking to both of you now from Overflow 2. In the name of Jesus, I set you free and I decree and declare that that proverb shall no longer be mentioned in your life. It will no longer be Ichabod in Jesus' name. I'm coming here, but you are the one I'm talking to. Eh? Debbie, it's not the, this person. You hold this one. Don't worry, they'll hold her. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is saying he is going to use you to change everything in your family. It will be like a dream, but he is going to use you. He's making you a savior over your family. Don't ask how it's going to happen. It's by the anointing. The spirit entered me when he spoke unto me that God is going to use you and change everything in your family. In the name of Jesus. Yes, go ahead. She's had severe menstrual pain since she started menstruating. That resulted in serious back pain. How Came old are you now? Pain this evening. Sir? How old are you now? 21. 21? And she's had severe menstrual pain? Yes. And she came here with the pain today. But Don't the pain believe is that thing. Oh, in the name of Jesus, I cancel it forever. Amen. Say amen. amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit, severe menstrual pain goes back to hell. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. She had headache, heaviness in the chest. Heaviness? In the chest. Okay. And then she had severe headache. And as she prayed for her, it totally and, left. And what? Hiccup. She's... The heaviness used to make her hiccup. She was even hiccuping during the service. But as she prayed, she's totally healed. God bless you. Look at me. Where did you come from? Kaduna. Kaduna State. You are going back. Eh? Where's your mother? She's in Bauchi. When are you going to see her? I'm serving in Kaduna, so it has to be December. December. If I, if I give you an instruction for your mother, will you obey it? Huh? Look for 1,000 Naira recharge card. Eh? Yes, Send it to your mother to bless her. Okay. 
and watch what happens in your life. You just do what I ask you to do. It's not some superstition. Please, you get my point. It's just the law of honor that will trigger something. I release my faith with you. Your mother is going to pray one prayer for you that looks like she's playing. But you watch what that play will do in your life. In she had ulcer, peptic ulcer. As she prayed for her, she was totally... Peptic mad. ulcer. How long? Put your hand on your chest. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, peptic ulcer goes back to hell. In the mighty name of Jesus goes to hell forever she also had ulcer but she also had kidney inflammation she used to feel a sharp pain she's been healed of the ulcer now when she presses the place before press she it. Would feel press it press it any pain no pain gone completely no. come on koinonia may god forgive you may god you people have seen signs and wonders too much to a point that god bless you he had a sharp pain in his left side okay you mentioned it and then he also used to experience dizziness that he would just be standing be dizzy and then slump but as you prayed for him he was totally you just slump like that yeah they may even have to catch it it happened, it happened once august august 26 you just slump like that yes i was falling and then my brother caught me come what if you fall down like the epileptic patient that used to fall inside fire the devil would just wait until you are crossing a bridge then that wicked spirit will come because he comes to steal to kill and to destroy in jesus name i set you free you are free now you are free forever in jesus name back pain disappeared he's had back pain for a long time back pain sir yes in jesus name let it go and go forever never to return again in sometimes the two eyes go blind other times only the right one go blind but now he's totally healed he can see with both eyes have you gone to the hospital for this but sometimes you just go blank like that come in the name of jesus put your hands on your eyes i decree and declare perfection for you by the anointing of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ he's had back pain for a long time he's healed now back pain you see god is when there are messages behind miracles you see that god is healing a lot of back pain because it's a revelation it's not just the bones are what give structures to a person doctors tell us that means that by this miracle god is speaking through it right like he's doing the miracle of ezekiel 37 the bones coming back it took the bones to come back for an army to rise therefore i'm praying that everything that is out of order out of joint out of place in your life by the anointing that is characterized by these miracles let there be a restoration of it in the name of jesus christ amen and amen god bless you yes please go ahead so back pain he came here with waist pain sorry waist pain he came here with how long serious pain 2014 and now he's gone. try to turn it's gone he Completely. squatted for me and um, no squat you've not you did it for him yes. you didn't do it for me ah. <laughs> it looks like a footballer gone and gone forever in jesus name apostle you mentioned so he's laughing on, until he fell under the anointing a buzzing sound in his left ear and he couldn't hear yes, oh okay you mentioned it and he was hearing the buzzing sound all through but as you mentioned it it's gone the now buzzing what's your name sir hear since 2014 for the past four years it's gone completely the left ear give totally jesus praise healed. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare by the power of God, never, never, never returns to you again. Apostle, her left hand, the middle finger, she couldn't bend it at all. She has gone for treatment. She couldn't bend it Which at one? all. Which one? The middle finger. The longest How long? One. Last year. Why couldn't you bend it? I don't know. I bend it now. Let them see it. Look at this. And then as you were praying for the lady with menstrual pain, she also had, as you were praying right now, she came for the testimony. The menstrual pain also left. Let it go back to hell and never come to you again. In the name of Jesus Christ. She had weak. Your father's salvation. Ah, we are experts in praying for salvation here. You need to find out how God saves people here. Where it's not that God saves them, it's how He saves them that is a sign and a wonder. I was preaching the series on um, reality of heaven and hell. And there was one malam. He came for koinonia. He was seated outside. And while I was praying, he, he was studying his, 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 his... Let me study your IRK. Or what, he was studying something like that. And then, all of a sudden, he just 
I mean, Koinonia just disappeared and he saw a vision of heaven outside overflow one. And the Lord Jesus was talking to him. That's how the guy got born again. Remember years ago, the gentleman that came here, that gentleman that belonged to a cult group, you, you know the, the guy, that funny guy that came outside thinking that this is some harbourless place. As soon as I climbed here, all that the guy saw was, I hope he's still in Christ. But as far as, <laughs> yes, the one that slept three days on a graveyard to get power. And so when he was here and saw power, he said, ah, there's power here. Whether it's demonic power or God's power, there's really power here. In the name of Jesus, there is grace that saves men. We declare that your father comes to the genuine saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless witness you. Was ill. When we take the last person, that would be all so that we can... Yes, In please. overflow three, witness overflow three. the pain. So as you went outside and you ministered, ah, she fell under God the power of God. God visited overflow three today. Oh, this miracle service was for overflow three. As she fell under the power, she stood up perfectly whole. Completely. It's gone. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again. Yes, please. Go ahead. She said she was feeling headache and then generally she wasn't feeling fine. But and as you prayed, come, my dear, in the name of Jesus Christ, it goes here. Can, her body is even hot. You can see that her body she is came ill, cough, she, but everything is. In the name of Jesus Christ, it goes forever. Next person, okay. please. He's had um, back pain for a while. During the seven days fasting program, yes. he was healed. But yesterday the symptoms came back. But right now he has been permanently. Healed. What was the issue, sir? Back pain. Back pain, come. You see, the, you see the, the thing again I'm telling you? Miracles are messages in Jesus' name. Back pain goes and goes forever. Yes, She's please. had serious Qatar since 2010 that lasted for three years. Is it that Qatar? and came back again, but right now she's completely healed. Completely healed. Put your hand on your chest. Lord Jesus, let this lady be perfected now, perfected forever. I bring you the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Forever healed forever perfected and the lord is saying i should tell you he's bringing restoration restoration to your life in jesus now, name now he's had back pain since 2006 and then hmm. as he sat there and you mentioned the case he believed he was healed but the symptoms were still there yes while he stood up from there to come here the symptoms disappeared that's number one because god will always honor faith come my friend then the second thing was that he had this chest pain he had done his ECG scan and they told him they were going to place him on hypertension drugs. But while he stood here, the pains disappeared. The heaviness left. Hypertension, back to sender. Back to the devil that sent it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Yes. Please. Her grandfather died of this ulcer pain. Her father has it. Her sister has it. And then she's also seeing the symptoms. But tonight, when the case was mentioned, she was completely healed. You see, this, these are the kinds of cases where it's not just a healing for the person. Grandfather died of it. You said father has it. Father has it. Mother, sister has, sister has it. it. Yes. Aunties. Huh? Yes. Everybody has it. Most of my aunties. My, my younger sister, my dad, just all of us. Like where are you from? I'm from Delta State. Delta State. In the name of Jesus, a beautiful lady, the devil should not rubbish your destiny. I can't sue this yoke not just over your life but over your family in the name of jesus is gone now and gone forever in jesus you mentioned name. back pain apostle she came for personal prayers last week just on her own personal um, prayers as she was going back she felt like an arrow was shot in her back since last week she has been having that pain but as you mentioned it, hold my hands in the name of jesus look at me look at me shout jesus jesus Yes, she had this pain in her chest and her stomach. She suspected it Our was lovely ulcer. Osha, you can imagine how hard, how wonderful, okay? She was suspecting it was ulcer, but she has never gone for diagnosis. But as you mentioned, the heaviness and the pain, Put everything your hand just on your left chest. in her stomach. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that that devil goes back to hell. In the name of Jesus. Give Jesus stand. praise. Now, everyone, please stand. Everyone, please stand. Oh, they're still... He's had a very mysterious headache, heaviness that just disappeared now as you mentioned the case. In the name of Jesus, come my friend. It never returns to you again. Every other person that has been touched by the power of God will declare perfection for your body now. 
hallelujah please i want you to stretch i want you to stretch your hands towards this prayer request stretch your hands and i want you to begin to declare that as you have dropped this request now in the name that is above all names the only thing you are permitted to pick is your testimony lift your voice and declare it in the name of the lord jesus christ i decree and declare by the power of the holy ghost father in the name of jesus we pray over this request we decree and declare by the power of the holy ghost lord let impossible situations please make sure everybody's request is here let impossible situations go please agree by faith as you pray while laying our hands on this request in the name of jesus father in the name of jesus this is a representation of the faith of your people you are the god that answers prayers I ask, oh God, that you arise. Arise in power. Arise in majesty. Arise in grace. In the name of Jesus. Turn the lives of your people around. Turn the lives of your people around. Turn the lives of your people around. Hallelujah. I stand upon this request prophetically and i agree with you for some of you the things you have written here the truth is that only god can do them there's no man born of a woman that can do it in fact if you read some of the things for us even us who god has helped will have to doubt and say ah but thank god that the request is unto god father we present before you this request and in the name of jesus i declare that this request has supernaturally turned to testimonies. They are supernaturally turned to testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please stand if you can. And receive the last prophecy and impartation. I will continue to speak over your life and I will continue to release the anointing on your destiny until until your life becomes a picture of everything that God has said therefore please I want you to humble yourself and open up your heart and your spirit there is a lady you have been seeing You have been seeing yourself carrying children in dreams this is almost all most of your dreams that's all you are breastfeeding children you are carrying children you are with babies in the name of jesus every fraternity every fraternity with the gate of darkness in the name of jesus i'm praying for those people first i command that devil to leave you now once and for all once and for all hallelujah i'm praying for someone else i don't know why god is interrupting me now there is no night that you sleep without somebody coming to molest you i'm saying once you go to bed somebody must come to molest you whether it's a man whether it's a woman whether it's an animal that must happen to you you get up and physical things begin to be misplaced i'm praying right now for those people that this word is for in the name of jesus by the fire that comes from the throne of god i declare you and that demonic spirit be delivered now once and for all in the name of Jesus 
now i pray for you if there is anyone here called into ministry or anyone here in ministry but you are not seeing the signs the wonders the results that befit the anointing where are you i pray for you i stretch my hands right now in the name that is above all names i prophesy to your life catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire he makes his ministers wings he makes his angels wings and his ministers flames of fire therefore i speak over your life catch fire healing fire deliverance fire breakthrough fire let it come upon you now in the name of jesus now i speak over every crippled destiny you are trying to make progress and move but something is pinning you down and keeping you in one place in the name that is above all names by the power of the prophetic i shift you to the next level of your life please believe it i shift you to the next level of your life for all those in business here and you're trusting god to stabilize you are up today and down tomorrow i stretch my hands in the name that is above all names may the grace for strange favor may the grace for favor come upon your business and lift you to a new dimension in the name of jesus christ every helper that must show up between now and october miracle service listen you heard the testimony of the gentleman here it just takes one genuine helper genuine sent by god i pray for you and i connect you to the helper that will turn your life around in the name of jesus christ i connect you to the helper that will turn your life around in the name of jesus christ listen every family here that is saying lord when will you visit us when will you wipe our tears when will you take reproach from our lives i'm declaring to you now by the force of favor may the lord turn your family's life around right now anyone here called barring or you are connected to anyone you know trusting god for the fruit of the womb in the name of jesus we release their miracle children now i'm praying for anyone here trusting god for a job you are trusting god for a job or you have loved ones that are trusting god for a job in the name of jesus i agree with you that between now and october miracle service return with your testimony the kind of favor ah, the favor that can turn your life overnight around i decree and declare may that favor and that grace locate you and turn your life around hallelujah now i want you to say amen to this prayer that i want to pray for you the problem that only you will have the anointing and the grace to solve that will pick you and bring you to notoriety in the name of jesus from the depth of my heart may that anointing come upon you now in the name of jesus christ 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 help that mama please listen your relevance is defined by the solutions you provide so when god wants to help you he will carry joseph and put in him an ability to interpret pharaoh's dream joseph interpreted the dream of the buckler nothing happened 
when you interpret the dream of a man of influence you will not remain in the prison i pray for you again the grace the grace that will cause you to solve the problem of one who has the influence and the capacity to bless you receive that grace in the name of jesus anyone here or your family members due for promotion and have been kept down either by tribalism or religion or some kind of devilish factors in the name that is above all names we declare their promotion here we declare their promotion now in the mighty name of jesus christ now i agree with you whether i uniquely mention your issue or not whatever it is you came here believing in the name that is above all names i stretch my hands and i agree with you let it return to you as a speedy testimony hallelujah lord in this month of october i'm now I'm, I'm the one asking for you father a dimension of financial increase that your people have not seen this has nothing to do with what you are doing on i'm praying for you in the name that is above all names i pray for you may my god bring supplies to your life this month in a way that will bring tears of joy to your eyes finally i pray for you i don't know what dimension in the spirit you are crying that god brings you into for some of you god has helped you in the area of revelation but you truly need the gifts of the spirit to walk in your life for some of you you have seen the gifts of the spirit work but you need a higher dimension for some of you you need comprehension into the word of god for some of you you need the grace for prayer you are not lazy the grace is just not there for some of you you need faith and courage capacity to believe god for impossible things it doesn't matter what category i stretch my hands and i declare whatever spiritual blessing you desire i stretch my hands to you now let it come upon you right 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 now in the name of jesus christ let it come upon you right now i'm still praying it let it come upon you prophetic fire let it come upon you visions and dreams visions and dreams let it come upon you the grace to interpret visions and dreams let it come upon you the gifts of healing let it come upon you tongues interpretation of tongues the gifts of wisdom the gifts of leadership administration let it come upon you in jesus name father we give you thanks we thank you i decree and declare the blessing that is upon nigeria the grace that has made nigeria indestructible after 58 years may that same grace keep your life intact if nigeria is not dead after 58 years i forbid death from your life in the name of jesus christ hallelujah you are here and you are saying apostle i need jesus you heard the prayer of our dear lady here the sister that came requesting for her father in the name of jesus listen carefully i know we are trying to settle down in the name of jesus that lady i cause the spirit that that lady you are with i command that devil let her go now look at the kind of wild wild spirits these are the kinds of spirits that that make people manifest as stubborn it doesn't mean they are bad 
when a stubborn spirit is working in your life it will reflect that's why you find out that they don't listen no matter what you tell them they never listen these are the spirits in the name of jesus christ i set this lady free hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you